Picky Penguins, welcome. Welcome to a very special early stream. A very early, early ass stream. Uh, and we are here to play and experience the Elden Ring. Behold, behold. I really wanted to stream this game the moment it was made available. The embargo was gone. So I can experience with a whole bunch of other people, a whole bunch of other streamers and a whole bunch of other folks. You know, this is like, this is a special experience. And I don't know if you guys have been seeing, uh, I don't know if you guys have been seeing reviews this game's been getting. Holy shit, man. This game's got like a 97% already, like in the first day. It's like 50 critics or something. It's like, holy shit, it's just tens across the board. I think we're gonna be in for, in for something pretty special here. I really, really want to play this game now. <laughs> it was funny, I was always like, I was pretty uh, excited about it, but I would say like relatively casual, I wasn't like losing my mind. But after seeing some stuff and actually watched some videos from Vadi Video too, I'm pretty excited now. I actually would like to potentially, as we go through this, maybe try to piece together some of the game's lore. Uh, I might talk a little bit about what Vadi Vidya had sort of talked about in his like, I watched this before Elden Ring comes out. <laughs> oh shit, then it cut, kicks in. Da -da -da -da. Holy shit. If you are resident of Germany, oh, okay, yeah, I, yes, I, I, I agree. I absolutely agree with you. I agree with that too. Also, I uh, agree with that. Retrieving latest calibrations. Uh, okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, there we go. Yeah, this game's been getting amazing reviews and I actually really wanted to go through and I, if possible, stream this entire experience with, with me. I really want to play through this whole game and stream it with you guys. Um, so which I've never really done before for a, a game like this. I'm excited. I'm really excited. I, so what I'm gonna hope that we can do too is as we go through this game, maybe try to piece together some of the lore, right, read some descriptions and stuff. And uh, yeah, I will say to anybody who's uh, showing up here right now, I just want to say thank you. <laughs> There's a lot of people who are going to be streaming this game. Um, a lot of people who are going to be uh, experiencing this game for the first time. And the fact that you are choosing to hang out with me, uh, it means a lot. So thank you. Um, so uh, let's hop to it. Uh, toggle auto lock on. Yeah, maybe? We'll just keep this all to, to most motion sensor. All right. Yep, that's good. Good, 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 good. Oh, okay, and then I'm just here. Okay, so it looks like the, um... Oh, cool, samurai. Wow, was a, <laughs> a wretch. That's what they call the naked, uh, the naked group here. The, the prisoner. Cool. All right, so, do they have the... They don't actually, do they? Or it's not the same. This was, this must be the wizard one. Um, so what I thought about doing this time, because I don't really do it very often, is I thought I might try to actually do a faith build, uh, as opposed to, like, a, a wizard build or something. Although, yeah, so, oh, no, this is the wizard. So what's this one? Oh, this one's pretty high in faith. This was high in intelligence. That looks like the faith build. The prophet. So imagine just like it's fun. <laughs> I'm blind! Astrologers and wizards are the, uh, or astrologers and prison prisoners are the uh, wizard build. Gotcha. So the confessor and the prophet are the two. Uh, I'll have to see what they have. Let's see. Uh, hey. Can I see what this includes? A seer for inauspicious prophecies, well versed in healing incantations. A church spy, adept at covert operations, equally adept with the sword as they are with their incantations. Prophet has lower intelligence, higher faith, uh, less arcane. This guy actually, well, this guy's starting at a lower level too. What's it got? A little, oh, it got a little stick. <laughs> Call him Van Zeeks. The Adventures of Van Zeeks. I say, actually, that might not be a bad idea. That might be a bad idea. Call him Daddy Zeeks. Can I see the details of what the, those items are down there? I can see Van Zeeks being like, a man of holiness here. 
I like that. I like I like the idea that Lord Van Zeek. No, not Lord. Lord Van Zeek's in his glorious mission to become a lord, an Elden Lord. This guy looks pretty all right. Like he's young, but he looks he looks older. Yeah, it's your voice. Alter face. Okay, there we go. Face actually look pretty good, I gotta say. They have look better than the usual, uh, the usual fare. How far can I? Wow. Wow, we actually have quite a bit of options here. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, mm, oh, wow. wow. <laughs> strong. This is a strong Zeke's. He's, su he's sucking in that gut super hard, man. Giga check Zeke's here. Ooh. Apparent age. I'm apparently 200, almost 205. <laughs> this is kind of funny. <laughs> Big anime eyes. Little eyes. So what kind of hair we got? Oh shit, this is uh We actually got some pretty good pretty good hair here. We got some good Zeke's hair to work with. This is some fucking Nero hair. Yeah, nine, yeah, yeah. I think so too. Alright, let's get his color. Holy shit. Yellow man. How's that? That looks pretty good, I think. That looks definitely a bit, uh, he's got kind of his pouty face. His Zeke's face. That's not too bad. I think it's not too shit. Not too bad. Let's go kick some shit, man. Muscular. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah, fucking diesel Zeke's. That's the shit right there. Uh, abundant. Harry Zeke's. Oh yeah, he got that. He got that thick shit. <laughs> Damn, look at that thick ass. <laughs> Yo, what up? It's your boy, Daddy Z. That's a thick ass leg, boy. <laughs> shit. Woo! Woo! Damn, all right. Let's give him some, let's give him some nice meat to the legs here. He's got some big legs, all right? He got some big ass legs. So Daddy Zeke's is a confessor, I think. It starts with some good faith and I gotta have a sword and shit. Uh, all right, so what do we got? Uh, increases max HP. The gold grace of shining, of, of grace shining in the eyes of the people of the lands between used to gain, I mean, ah, fuck that. Uh, a gold seat washed ashore from the lands between set to reinforce sacred flasks. Ooh, okay. Um, the ashes of small diminutive golems. Ashes are said to hold spears within. Uh, three strange crack pots that somehow mend themselves, themselves. A container for certain thrown items. Two stone keys shaped like swords. Break the seal on imp statues, but only use once. Oh, these are, I've heard about these. They actually have like the phala, the something, whatever keys like they did in the last game. Or in uh, Dark Souls 2. Um, the Witching Branch. I think this is always in the... With beguiling power. Since you're receiving from the Demigod Mikella. Uh, five pieces of boiled prawn. Boost physical damage negation. Shibiri's Woe. The crazed likeness of a noble whose eyes have been gouged out. Attracts enemy aggression. I'm good. Uh... I actually get a thing that can literally re reinforce one of my flasks. That seems pretty great. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with the key. The key's kind of interesting. The key can lead to any, it can any, any anything. It can even lead to a boat. You know, he's the one in one of those. I like it. It seems appropriate for him too. Let's begin our quest as Lord Van Zeeks, as I seek to become the true Elden Lord. Naked Zeeks. Hmm. The fallen leaves tell a story.
That's George R. R. Martin right there. He's he's forging the one true Elden Ring. The great Elden Ring was shattered. In our home, across the fog, the lands between. Making the next Game of Thrones novel. Now, Queen Marika the Eternal is nowhere to be found. And in the night of the Black Knives, Ow. Godwin the Golden was first to perish. Soon, Marika's offspring, demigods all, claimed the shards of the Elden Ring. The mad taint of their newfound strength. I feel like I'm gonna be fighting all these guys. Triggered the shattering. Ugh. A war from which no lord arose. This chick. A war leading to abandonment by the greater will. Oh, rise <laughs> now, ye <laughs> tarnished, ye dead who yet live. The call of long lost grace speaks to us all. Horalu, chieftain of the Badlands, the ever brilliant Gold Mask, fear the deathbed companion. The loathsome dung eater. Dung eater? And Sir Gideon Ophnir. The all knowing. Shit. Go kick their asses, he's saying. He's saying, hey, here they are. You gotta get the one. Other, whom grace would again bless. What more? Is that a piece of the Elden Ring right there? Punished of no renown. Cross the fog to the lands between. Oh, no, this is me. This is me. To stand before the Elden Ring and become the Elden Lord. So seemingly at the start there, I'm I'm getting a piece of the, the Elden Ring. I think that's what's like bringing me back. Yeah, the ring! Ring! Whoa, I, I feel like I'm starting in Bloodborne House. Praise the Elden Ring! So tonight, I, I'm gonna add another one. I don't care if it's capped out. It's so it begins. Ah, like a dream, therefore time for joy. This was good. Look at Van Seeks and his ability to hop. It's not a Dark Souls game unless you can roll through shit, right? Ugh. So, all right, so I'm starting off. It looks like the location is a bit different from what it was in the beta. I imagine I'm going to probably eventually run into where I was. But I'm, I'm kind of glad because I thought when they started us in the beta, it was kind of weird. Though the path be broken and uncertain, claim your place as Elden Lord. Tarnished Wizened Finger. Uh, 
of three armors each to your left and right hands the actions each arm perform it will vary based on which hand is wielding it oh interesting oh oh wait no no yeah it's just the yeah it, may, it just means my what i'm equipped with so okay i got a, a nice normal broadsword the blue crest heater shield which is probably got some good counters on it finger seal is that my caster uh how do I look at this shit? Switch view, simple view. See, so, dude. Uh, you can browse your stuff. You can use tools from the inventory. Uh, show, oh, show larger, large view and explanation. Yeah, there we go. Oh, for online play, use the right messages. Convey to others and let them know that you're oot in a boot. I don't even start with my flask yet. Uh, okay. Ooh. So here's the thing with the, the two fingers and the three fingers. So, um, one of the things that I saw Valdi video talk about it is like how, uh, every, every like person or every like, uh, a uh, warrior in this gets like what's called a, like a maiden, a finger maiden. And they're part of what's called the two fingers though we're going to find the person that we find ends up being something a little different um and that's usually results in like like healing spells and things like that the two fingers has high hopes for the tarnished that even if they should be wounded they sh if even if they should fall they will continue to fight for their duty it's a small amount of hp what's this one do oh complete sounds of the footsteps of the caster additionally reduces fall damage and the sound produced by falling the sorcerer can be cast while in motion or crouching the assassins with eliminating tarnished who had strayed from guidance. Ooh. That's pretty cool. That's actually that's actually really neat. I like that I start I start with that. Uh a sacred seal bestowed by finger maidens, which serves as a catalyst for casting sacred incantations. The incantations must be memorized first at the side of grace, and a secret seal must be equipped to cast them. Um Let's see what is what is my hood here the church is outside the lands between dedicated to teachings of the two fingers send confessors out to follow the guidance of grace the confessors are loyal servants to the two fingers ready to hunt down and quietly dispose of their enemies i see so i am essentially a messenger of the two fingers with this of course i am of course law of antiques would would be a a respected clergyman of the two fingers. Two fingers. Uh, information here reflects your stuff. Yep. I think this is back to now. Uh, what, what was it like? Your your endurance affects your uh your st your like stand or your your poise. That's like one of the that's like one of the things that this game brought back that has, we haven't seen for a while. Right, messages to players in the world. So change the player from player. Okay. Uh, multiplayer. I'm probably not going to fuck around too much with this. It's not right now. Uh, Alright, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. But yeah, see, look, look at the HP up there. See my HP? It's actually got, instead of it being like the solid color like it was in the beta, it's actually got a nice little golden tint to it, which looks really nice. Looks a lot better this way. Oh god, I've got the motion control gestures. Well, I'm not actually doing it. That's good. Behold, are you ready? Yes, I am. Let it begin. Possible target helmet on or off? It probably is, actually. I do kind of like the hood, but... Um... There probably is. Oh, there it is. Hide helmet. Oh, wait. Uh, didn't change this one, though. Don't think there is. All right, well, it's fine. 
Chapel of Anticipation. <laughs> Anticipating the release of the Elden Ring. Okay, yeah, this is definitely a different location than where I was at the start of the beta. It's incredible. Praise the Elden Ring. So that's supposed to be that tree over there is supposed to be called the air tree. Roll through some boxes real quick. Let me guess, this is gonna be locked. I knew it. We're gonna come across a bunch of shit that Holy shit, where are all these blood stains? What happened? What happened? <laughs> this guy's starting off his starting off his playthrough right, right? He's offering himself to the Elden Ring. Up <laughs> I don't think that worked, dude. I don't think that worked, my dude. He's like, no, I believe. It looks like I can jump there. A body's been discovered. I don't know if I was going to find that body. Praise. Good luck. Thank you. First off, gesturing. <gasps> okay. Uh, let's see, how do I do this shit? Oh, map menu. With the map menu, you can check your current position, terrain, in the buildings. You also freely place beacons of light, serves landmarks. Lastly, through your map, you can select a, any side of grace that you've discovered and travel there instantaneously. Now, there are some dungeons and areas in which this cannot be done. Can't see shit, boy. Don't know where I am. Bow. Uh. Everybody strike the pose. Praise the Elden Ring. Ah, uh, uh, hold that fucking shit. Uh, praise the ring. Oh God. Okay. And then go and immediately roll to your death. Hurrah for rolling? No. It begins. I want to applaud this. You got me. You you get one. You get one game. Approach this wall to watch watch my ghost whacking the wall like an idiot. All right. Time for here again. Got any? Tarst, are you ready? You think I'm gonna get like the hidden path again? First off, you don't have have the you don't have the right. <laughs> this guy's on the. Eh. Good message. Could this be something? It is not. Damn, this game looks good, boy. Game looks really fucking crisp. Everything looking good on your end, guys? Looking, sounding all right? We gonna hit tutorial boss time? I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah. I'll praise that. That's what I'm thinking. All good? Wow! Really? The game isn't even taught me how to play it. Grafted Scion. Ah! 
Ow! I don't have anything to heal. Oh, wait, wait, yeah, I do. Get this. Sweet healing, it's not doing a whole lot. I'm gonna beat you right at the start. I swear I don't need a blast or anything. Let's go. Come on, bitch. Come on. Oh, you think it's because it's the beginning of the game? Ow. That I'm completely fucked. Ah! <laughs> 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 fucking die. Crap, people! I'm dead. I'm definitely dead. What happened? Ow. <laughs> also. Right off the bat. Oh, I think I'm actually, I think I'm actually where the beta is now. Horse. Goat. Horse. He starts biting me. <laughs> Scripted. Don't worry, Torrent. Fortune is on his side. We found him here, after all. Is that the lady with the mark on her face? One of his kind is sure to seek Maybe? the Elden Ring. Even if it does violate the Golden Order. Horse Wafu! I'm sure some people managed to beat that guy on the first try. Gotta love a good old fashioned uh, get fucked tutorial boss. I think now I have reached where the beta began. Which was, I, was, I thought this area was kind of weird. Yeah. And there's a little tree over there. Yep. Here it is. Oh, I wonder if I can get back there. Well, there's my flask. I just had to die to get it. Why is it always death? Agreed. I wonder if I'll... Uh, man, how, how will I get back there? Cave of Knowledge lies below. Yeah. Oh, that's it. That's actually the... The tutorial one. Brave Tarnished. Take the plunge. Of learning and remembrance. You were not here before, sir. Recall the arts of war in your warrior's blood. I feel like they might have stuck you here, sir, because it wasn't immediately obvious that jumping down this hole would lead to the tutorial room. <laughs> That's one thing in the beta. So in order to get the tutorial, you actually have to go down this hole here. You would normally, which is kind of weird because you normally think, oh yeah, I might just go straight ahead here. Even then this thing says, you know, cave, cave, cave of knowledge below. I think it still wasn't enough. So they stuck this guy here. Yeah, so it makes a lot of sense. Oh, well, let me check over here real quick. <laughs> Tree! All right. I will go to the take the cave of knowledge. The stream don't really have any uh, offensive spells at the moment either. That's the other kind of bad thing. All my stuff is pretty much for healing. 
Praise the underground tomb, yes. Sites of Grace. Uh, restore HP, FP, and cleansing stats elements. Also, fill your, refill your sacred uh, flasks. However, most enemies you defeat will be revived. You can find Sites of Grace by going where light converges. These exploitations are required are acquired in the form of info items that can be accessed from the inventory at any time. Damn it. I'm trying to find the tutorial messages, not the stupid fuck boys. Ah, uh, and I can pass the time. Uh, I don't have any seats. Uh, I can allocate your flask charges. Yep. Just like DS3. Well, uh, let's just stick with this by default. Uh, I need a sacred tier. Okay, to increase that. I don't have either. I don't have that either. Uh, memorize spells. Uh, staff's equip. Okay, for sorcery. Remember slot to determine the number of sorceries containers you can memorize. Uh, you can increase your memory slots by obtaining a memory stone. Oh, really? It's not based on my arcane? That's different. A memory stone. Okay, that's that's new. Normally it was like increasing your arcane or something would affect how much uh how many slots you could have. That seems to be different this time. There's actually like an item. <laughs> Baby tree. Cool. Uh place stuff in your chest. If you're arcane the maximum number of items when you pick up a new item will be stored in the chest automatically. Wait, is there there's a maximum no oh oh well, if I you hit the cap like ninety nine or something. I was like, don't go back to Demon Souls. We're gonna fucking store some shit. That's cool. I, I think I think things will probably change based on what time of day you're uh, traveling at. Rump ahead. <gasps> I see you. Where's my my tutorial messages? Oh oh, there they are. Stab that ass. Okay, they're actually not. They're actually just showing up in the in the left. I wasn't expecting that. Usually, like in the on the messages on the ground. Yeah. Oh yeah. Two minutes. That's what it was. Uh, can memorize sorceries and incantations at the sites of grace. Must have staff equipped. And sadly, you can't do dick right now, boy. Hi there. Hello. Uh. You're all wizard, Larry. Uh, left arm guarding is especially effective. Seems hammer, hammer, hammer. You also do this shit. Ow! Oh, you took your sweet time with that. Shit. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Wow, the timing on that. Come on, man. Come on. Try again. Damn it. I want it. Ow. God damn it, dude. The timing of this is so weird. I want it. He's so slow. Ow. It takes like 10 seconds, dude. This guy's, this guy's gonna kill me. I just want one, man. Fuck it. His attacks are weirdly inconsistent. Oh, Nico, me. I just wanted, I wanted the parry. Ah! Wow, I 
didn't get that, really? Dodge. Use it to dodge. Ow. I was trying to parry. His ti the timing of his attacks were really weird. Okay, we got the dash. I'm about to fight a, a fucking dinosaur. Ooh. In every corner of Lance Tune, you'll find fruits and flowers, mushrooms, and butterflies. There's also item crafting, which is kind of new. I hear somebody. Who's trying to sneak up on me? Could this be a rump? Uh, wheeling armaments. Uh, armaments can each hand be equipped with up to three armaments. Uh, you can cycle through them. That's right. Will it, so instead of uh, it's it's a little different this time. It used to be just like holding triangle let you like wield uh whatever like two handed. But I think it was only your right hand. Now you can actually have to hold L or R to get the, the right-handed thing. So, like, yeah. Hello, sir. No, it isn't. <laughs> Doesn't mean I'm not going to check, though. Okay, lock on. Could this be item? It be not. Ow! This guy's just standing here infinitely firing all day. So this is life. Ugh. Ah! Oh, that's what I was hearing. I was down below there. He was just up here shooting off into nothing. Into nothing. All right. Uh, armaments have special abilities called skills. Uh, skills are highly varied and range from powerful to temporary effects. L2. I'm like I have anything here. Chug it, chug it, chug. I don't think I do, at least. I mean, the shield has the ability. I think, actually, I think the parry ability is literally an armament thing, maybe. Because other one, I have other shields that I got later. I do. Isn't this is isn't the parry itself actually an, an armament ability? Oh, hold L2, then do an attack. Oh, oh. Ugh. Sick. Parry's the ability of your shield. The sword has the stance thing from DS3. Gotcha. Thank you. Arms required ahead. Yeah, we got some Sekiro shit. It's not quite as, not quite as maybe nuanced as Sekiro. It's definitely more like Dark Souls 3, except maybe, maybe a little, a little better. I mean, I, I mean, I can crouch now. That definitely helps. Dig it in the dirt. Dig it in the dirt. Everybody digging in the dirt. <laughs> Bad thing about the backstabs, though, generally. Um is that they tend to miss sometimes, you know? I've definitely had that happen. I had that happen in the beta a few times. Do 
Doop, 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 doop. Oh, some juicy shit right there, boy. I got your ass. Oh, that's nice. I can actually cr I can actually run while crouched. That's nice. Okay. Uh, some of these can... Uh, it may break an enemy stance, give you a chance to perform a critical attack. Charge attacks and jump attacks make it particularly easy to, to do that. All two, R2 while jumping. Hold two, R2 for a jump attack. All right. Hiya! Thank you. Uh, Statues America. Upon dying, you'll be revived at the la last site of grace that you visit. However, if there's a Statue America near where you died, you can choose to be revived there instead. Yay! Thank you, lady. No arm, lady. Arbellium, thank you for the three years, but holy shit. Have fun, Nico. Thank you, man. Uh, crusty guy for the hundred bits. Here to ro rob you just to run your pockets. Thank you, man. P, P and J sandwich for the 16 months. We'll pray for the 37 months. Some of this game might be an LP of the U for YouTube. I'm glad either way I can experience together with you. Plus, such an amazing time for a German viewer like myself. Thank you, man. Appreciate it, dude. Uh, Lunar Star Dream for the 37 months as well. We're seeing a lot of 37 months penguins now. Holy shit. Thank you, guys. Thank you, seriously, for everyone's choosing to join me uh, for this. Like, they're choosing to hang out with me because everybody's going to be, everyone and their mom is going to be playing and streaming this game. That you're choosing to hang, choose to hang out with me as I experience this. That just thank you. It really uh, means a lot. I'm glad you could join me. Oh, yeah, I remember this guy, the soldier of Godric. Here he comes. He just looks like a regular dude, but he's, he's here. Uh, all right. Oh yeah, the guard counter. That's right. This shit was dope. Protect melee after blocking enemy attack. Counter. Ugh. He tried. Thank you. I, I, I worked hard for that guy. I worked really hard. Could this be fire? It is. Uh, so I would be like, hang on, skeleton. I hope I hope I find that. I hope I find a good message of like, like, hold on, skeleton. Those are always my favorite. I find it funny they made that like a boss. <laughs> it's not just some dude, it's just a regular guy. Praise be to the tarnished. All right, and we're back. Huzzah! Strength. I have acquired strength. Wee! I did it. You see? I did it. I did it already, you silly booger. Which means I'm ready to get the fuck out of here. Actually, wait, where did the other way go? Who we? I'm gonna need a HUD display. Oh. Try out for that, okay. Praise the life. There's nothing back here. I'm gonna need a torch, man. It's dark. <laughs> I actually like that when I'm running, my... Oh, that's right. I, my running doesn't j sap my stamina uh, unless I'm in a fight, which is great. All right, Mr. Ghost, let's open this door together. Daddy Zeke needs a needs a little shower after this, I think. Ah. No, it isn't. I remember that from the beta. 
Cooperative multiplayer. Use the tarnished fing fuel furl finger to write golden signs. Uh, cooperative multiplayer begin once you have summoned a player, another player of your world. Take the role of an allied furl finger and your objective is to defeat the area boss. Compass of the host indicates the direction of the summoner. Okay, so it's kind of like the basically the same fucking thing that it always was. It's basically this exact same multiplayer. It's probably still the same jink shit too. Since uh, another or oneself home. See you, Matt. Have a good one, man. <gasps> oh, hey. Might as well, I guess. I mean, I got one. Let's do it. This is what I got the key for. Hopefully there's something good over here. Be wary of toxic. Oh, shit. I hear something not so friendly. Okay, so we got a poison swamp we're gonna have to deal with. Oh boy. Run. Uh, okay. Well, that's good. I'm fine. I'm just a little. Brief respite. Okay, definitely didn't see any of this in the beta. We, I could not come over here in the beta. Bacon, ma uh, uh, bacon, make. Thank you for the ten months, man. What in the fuck? Our belly for the three years. Uh, thank you, dude. I think I got yours all right, boss. Make sure. So the fucking music, dude. Ooh, good, some poison bone darts. What? I'm gonna call shenanigans on that, sir. Is the clipping through the walls? The answer is yes. Upon dying, if you revived the last set of grace, dropping any runes, depressing your dragon. Uh -huh. Okay, a couple of something indicates the direction of the lost runes. Oh, yeah, it does. Cool. Thanks, hitbox. Well, we still got those nice, beautiful uh, Dark Souls hitboxes to work with here. All right. At least it wasn't very far. This is not exclusive to this anime. I don't imagine it is. It, 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 you're right, actually. It is kind of clipping through the wall, isn't it? Yeah, she's... Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Big clip through that wall. The hero's grave? Grave? Whoa. Oh. Hey, this is my hidey hole. You find your own. No, 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 no. Bye. <laughs> oh, shit. You bastard. Bye. Oh, he lived. Oh, I'm going to be, I'm going to be going down that way in a second. Hey, 
Hey there, fella. <laughs> I was like, what? I turn around. I'm like, I, I, I swear it sounds like it's coming from behind. Oh, no. <laughs> that cheeky thing. Okay, so that thing is, uh, that thing seems pretty sentient. If I do say so. I'm also saying how you really want to kill those guys that are up there because you don't. It's just the guy with the arrows will just be shooting at you. <laughs> Damn it, three deaths. Fuck. You, sir, are sort of an asshole, if I may say. Okay, we're gonna take it nice and easy. Take a sip of coffee. This is the right path. This is a uh, a side path because I had I, I started with one of the keys, one of the uh, consumable keys. This is basically uh, seemingly optional. I want to I want to see what's down here. <laughs> Might be something cool. This time I'm actually gonna take the right path here. Yeah, that's right. Come here. Come here. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. Wait. Wait. Uh-oh. Holy shit. Well, he did come. Came a little sooner than I'd hoped. Oh, he came back. Oh, I got it. I got, I, I got a little too smart. He's like, I'm gonna walk. I'm gonna make my way back up here. Okay, get this. Run, run, run. This thing fucking hunts you down, dude. Look at him coming. Where are you going, dude? Is he looking for me? Wait, did his path just change to... Oh, bitch. Oh, bitch. Okay, I gotta be fast. Ugh. Ugh. Go. If I may say, fuck you, sir. How is that possible? Oh, maybe I fucked. There's no way I can get down that thing fast enough. It have to it has to be when he comes past me. Yo! Oh shit, I fucked up. I ran to the wall. Yeah, I may have to go back. I don't know if this is possible. It actually really does not seem possible. I think I have to I think I have to bring it back up here. Come back up here, dipshit. All right. This might be a good time to actually do this. Oops.
All right, here we go. Lord, he coming. I'm just gonna let you stay there. This is wild, dude. Thank you. Okay, so we can go further down or we can go back up again. is that hey, Chase you're not gonna try to kill me definitely not ow I really thought I was holding L1 but oh bitch this guy's off okay leg spread And teleport. Are these fuckers, no, these these guys absolutely can teleport. How the hell did he get next to me like that? Okay, now he's above me. Run. Fuck those souls. It's 100 souls anyway. No, there's actually pass here, but... Fuck that. Ha-ha! Fuck you, John! Hey! Likely something incredible. No hope ahead. Oh, god damn it. Well, I'm all out of healing, so that's a good sign. Oh, wait, I, I forgot. I actually have... I have healing of my own. Well. Oh, that's really great. Bloodborne boss! Whoa. I'm fine. Totally fine. Oh, hey, well, that's true, actually. Now that I think about it, I can literally go... I have a checkpoint. Well. Let's just, let, me, let me get a couple tries. All right. Ulcerated tree. That's a big ulcer. Ow! Am I inside his mouth? Ah! That is 
is a bloodborne ass, bloodborne looking fucking dude, isn't it? Combo shit. Or like spots. Man! Oh, 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 oh! I just gotta be perfect. Fine. Ah. Yeah. Ow. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. A little too early. A little too early. All right, man, here we go. Bye. Thanks, John. Yay, drop something. Dragon communion seal. Ooh. Have we tried talking to John? It's true. People never, people always ask, how do I get away from John? When really we should be asking, how is John? Oh. Oh, cool. So that's there. I figured that guy had something. Um, boost dragon communion incantations. Formless Drake blood, blood seal with a dragon communion crest enhances dragon communion incantations. The sacrificial devouring of the heart gives power. Indeed, dragon communion is too primal in nature for the term incantation to be appropriate. The, skills sca the seal scales incantations with one's arcane attributes. Oh, I can't even equip it. I need 10 arcane and I have, I need one more basically. Cool. All right. Seems good for me. Yeah, I mean, it'll probably be good once I get some stuff to work with it. All right, that was a worthwhile endeavor. All right, we got some, we got some, uh, some souls or whatever the hell I'm getting. Whatever they call themselves in this game. And we got a new press thingy. I can't really fight the boss down here yet, but he's a little too beefy. He seems doable. Like, I mean, to be fair, he's, he's one of those big bosses that you, you just get, who gets stuck behind shit a lot. Or you, or you get stuck on his ass. Stay behind him and you'll probably be all right. But with how little my damage output is, uh, I think we might be on him a while. I don't want to, I don't want to take too, too long. I can't even level up yet, so. Go out to the main world and see if he can't do some stuff. John was like a brother to me. I loved him. What we got? We got uh, 794 souls. Or rings or whatever. I wonder if, you think there's any chance that there's uh, something below this? <laughs> I like how that ghost rose up. The answer is no. You have to check anyway, right? Unless there's like some behind it. I check behind it. You know how FromSoft loves their little secret passages and elevators and things like this. Let it go up and then check and see. Yeah. <laughs> this ain't missed. Nah, man, this shit, they do this shit all the time in Dark Souls. Uh, but not this time. Up we go. Man, I'm starting way the fuck down here though, aren't I? Granted, there could be a secret passage around the elevator as I go up. No. Top floor, boop. Nope. We're gonna be seeing a lot of those. 
because we just love making the ghost hit the wall. Uh, lift up the the Carol dungeon door. <gasps> Behold, Limgrave. Ooh, we're back. The open world is here. We can go anywhere. Hello there. I remember you from the beta. Guidance of Grace. Grace exists to, to guide the tarnished and lead them along the proper path. Even now, some Grace retains that power. Their golden rays will guide you along the way. So, we're definitely going to want to follow the path of Grace for a little bit because we're going to, if anything from the beta, if anything I learned uh, from the beta, uh, we're, we want to be able to, to level up and I want my horse <laughs> and I don't think I get that until I go a little ways in uh, use your map check your position as well as the terrain surrounding structures you can update your map with information by finding map fragments uh, at stellies along the road you can also use the map freely place beacons of light so I do I even have I don't hey, oh cool there's the it actually shows the hero's grave that's still there cave of knowledge so I can just hop to any one of these whenever I want. That's super fucking cool. Look at this big old world we're going to be unlocking. I can get a horse. A horse. My kingdom for a horse. Oh, yes. Tarnished, are we? Come to the lands between for the Elden Ring. Yes, the Elden Ring. Of course you have. No shame in it. Unfortunately for you, however, you are maidenless. Currently. Without guidance, without the strength of runes, and without an invitation. I think runes is what I'm getting. It's not souls, it's runes. You are fated, it seems, to die in obscurity. Luckily for you, however, there is one shining ray of hope for even the maidenless. Yes, no. tell me. Vare. Take care to listen. That is. Are you familiar with grace? The golden light that gives life to you tarnished. You may also behold its golden rays pointing in a particular direction at times. That is the guidance of grace. The path that a tarnished must travel. Hmm. Hmm. Grace's guidance holds the answers. It will lead you tarnished to the path you are meant to follow, even if it leads you to your grave. So, something I saw people recommend, and I am actually going to do this, is I'm going to whip up a little notepad file, because the thing is, the game does not have, like, quest, normal, like, open world quest markers or anything. Uh, starting guy, uh, tells me about Grace. Uh, this is Vare. Near entrance to beginning place. So I'm going to write down these guys and keep track of them. Because you apparently run to a lot of people. You run to a lot of different NPCs and they might actually have things that they want you to do. But the game's not gonna... I mean, you're gonna have to sort of keep track of it yourself. Which I think is kind of cool. You know, there's not gonna be like any markers. The only markers here are the markers that I put. Um. Can I zoom in any closer? Ah, see, yeah, I can put a person mark. Perfect. Uh, treasure. Cool. All right. I will mark that person. Yeah, it gives you hints by talking to people. Grace's guidance will reveal the path to Castle Stormvale. Over on the cliff, the home of the decrepit demigod, Godric. The drafted. Yes. So, so what I've gleaned from some of like the watching some Vadi video, 
So the idea uh, behind this world, right, is that the Elden Ring is like this magical ring that's sort of like, it, it kind of acts like, I think, like the kiln of the first flame, right? Where the, whatever happens to the Elden Ring affects the world and the people around it. Like, it's like that powerful. Um, the pieces of it were shattered a long time ago, by the way. Um, and uh, I believe in this world, the first of what was called the Elden Lord, which is like the person that I think sort of resided and uh, like let was uh, the leading figure of the world that I think also like guarded the Elden Ring. Uh, his name was uh, uh, Godfrey, I believe. Uh, and he has, and he had uh, two sons. One is Godric and another is uh, uh, it's time you should castle store if you seek the Elden Ring. Uh, Godric and God, I think I think he had two sons. One was Godric, and one was they all have, they all have God in them. But but basically, their names are hard to keep track of because they're all very similar sounding names. Godfrey and Godric and God, damn it! <laughs> I believe there are two of them. Godwin, thank you. That's it, Godwin. Um, uh, the Godwin is, I believe, dead or seemingly dead. Godric, though, is the guy we've seen from the trailers who has like a bunch of arms grafted onto him. Godzilla. Yeah, they're like demigods. Uh, the Erd Tree, from what I remember from Vadi Vidi, he actually described it as it, it's almost like essentially like a parasite, maybe that's like sucking the life from the, 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 from the planet um, kind of like the tree of might or something uh, religions have formed around this huge golden tree and I believe those religions are also related to uh, the flask that I have which may be really I think we're related to the two maidens which actually can I look at them I think I can right uh, the one washed up on the graveside was sure to die until this flask offered its gift of rejuvenation to seek the Elden Ring uh, after, modeled after a golden holy chalice that was once graced by a tear of blessing. Um, so I believe that uh, the these are formed from the the air bear tree, the air the air tree, the, the air tree, yeah. Um, and you can actually see you see these little tiny trees over here. I imagine those trees will probably give me what are the, those golden seeds that are apparently used to power the the flask. I, I wouldn't be surprised if these trees over here give me that. Yeah, the tree of might, I know, right? That's the only close thing I can think of. Um, but currently we are maidenless, which means you can't level up or do anything yet. But we are a Tarnist, which is basically a, an exiled group that was cast out from the lands in between. We are like one of those Tarnished. Um... And sort of seen as a lowly, uh, a lowly class in a lot of ways. Burp. Bird up. Hello. Bye, bird. Um. Oh, God, just be damn. It's a pretty ass game. It's a pretty ass game. However, it suggested perhaps. Uh, Vadi Video was suggesting that perhaps uh, the first Elden Lord that is actually the father, I believe, or or the grandfather or whatever uh, of at least the ancestor of like Godric and these other lore, uh, other demigods uh, was seemingly cast out himself and that he actually might have been the first tarnished. Why was Godfrey cast out though? Like why was he seemingly exiled? We don't know. But it also might explain why, apparently, Godric, uh, he, you can actually see from the trolls, he's the only, like, the only real, like, main guy that we know, main big boss guy, who I imagine is probably going to be a really hard, hard boss when we get to him. He grafts the arms of Tarnished onto his body. Um, and maybe that's why he does it. Maybe he's still, he, like, from the trailers, we saw that he is very, uh, uh, well, he basically talks down to you, you know, very condescending, but he still, for whatever reason, is grafting the arms of Tarnished onto his body. Um, so, what is that, man? I don't know. What's that? 
Golden rune. Used to gain runes. Ah. Yeah, and Ovanz, it's a low class. How dare they? That's why this is perfect, dude. This shit's fucking perfect. The Vanzix to rise up. How dare they call me low class? Don't they know about the Vanzix and the, the... The Vanzix family. The most powerful of all families. Hi, birds. What the... Get that shit out of here. Give me your little bones. Yeah, some pterodactyls or something down there. Squirrel. That's right. They were showing the power of the Reaper, the old Bailey. So it's cool. Like, and if you're like, that's really the only kind of lore I know about is, is about Godric. And that's all that really Vadia put together because we don't really know or haven't really met a lot of the other characters in the beta. In the beta, we didn't even fight Godric. We fought, a, fought another guy who I think it was like, also a descendant, also like a supposed royal class, right? That final, the final boss of the beta who was tough as nuts. I actually did beat him. I didn't beat him on stream though. I ended up running out of time on, uh, on stream and I, off stream, I did manage to actually defeat him. Uh, summoning pools. This area you may find effigies of martyrs. Those effigies are summoning pools. So find easy to summon other players at these locations. It has co-op, hostile summoning, uh, summoning signs created with small effigies gather, gather at summoning pools. Neat. So we're, I'd like to try if possible, because I, I, I don't normally try to like sort of piece together the lore too, too much uh, when I play these games, but I thought maybe kind of fun to sort of try to dive into a little bit to, uh, to some of this lore, you know, could be, in, could be enjoyable. At least to, to a relative degree is try to piece together as much as we can. Maybe we'll watch some Vadi video too, to help figure it out but for right now so this motherfucker this guy was in the beta this guy's hard as fuck okay and i'm not even i'm not attempting that i don't have a horse i don't have dick and i have also your starting uh stats were way higher in the beta in the beta your hp was like huge not so much here isn't that right goat go roll it whoa look at him rolling rolly goat Give me your meat. He used roll out. This guy's tough as nuts, all right? And I even he was tough as nuts even with your buffed out dude in the beta. So I, I've just, I've, I have no chance. I will just immediately die. I know it. Ruin fragment. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. Had to be done though. This is like fragments of the building. These shards of stone are believed to have once been a part of a temple in the sky. They glow with a faint light from within. So yeah, that was another thing. Vadi Vidya sort of talked about too how these these buildings that we see here that are lying around aren't necessarily from some like some massive structure that was initially like put all around the land, but was actually from potentially a floating uh, city, like kind of like Castle in the Sky, uh, that came crumbling down. Interesting. Ah, so there's a lot of areas around the, uh, around it around the starting area that I didn't look at because I was kind of trying to blaze my way through it since I only had a limited amount of time to uh, explore the game. Wow, look at that. That looks like a place you can get to. I don't know exactly how you would do that, but... Hey, little buddy. Oh, it's a skull. I kicked it. Can you swim? I supremely doubt it. I mean, maybe I could be wrong, but I do not think so. 
I watched, I watched a couple of reviews of this game, um, and from everything I saw, I did not see anybody swimming. <laughs> you see water is just auto death. Unless it's like a waist high. Now, if I remember right from the beta, hey, he's still here. Guys, look, it's Santa. <laughs> it's Santa. Yay. I can strengthen my armaments. Uh, okay. Yeah. Santa! You're a tarnished. I can see it. Hi, Santa. I can also see that you're not after my throat. Not yet, at least. Why not purchase a little something? I am Kale. Kale. Purveyor of fine goods. Okay. I'm gonna write you down. Kale. Santa! That's, just, that's what I'm gonna describe him as. Merchant Kale. I am of a nomadic people. Selling wares as I travel. The land Merry Christmas, everyone. By madness since the shattering of the Elden Ring. It's only tarnished like yourself, who keep things from drying up entirely. Let's say you're a very welcome customer. Thank you. You know, if you can spare the runes, you should buy yourself a crafting kit. A crafting kit allows you to make basic items on your own. Essential, Ooh. really, if you intend to survive out here for any duration. That's the right. It costs a bundle. And I admit, I do take my cut. But the important thing is that you survive. Every custom accounts, after all. Thank you, Santa. Uh, also, sells for runes. These runes suck to variety of items. Okay. Flask of Wondrous Physic. A note. Note imparting knowledge in brief. Uh, there's the telescope. Uh, the warrior's cookbook. Yeah, oh, here we go. That's definitely what I want. Spans crafting repertoire. <gasps> yes, definitely need a fucking torch. So grab one of those. I'm glad you took my warning to heart. You've made an excellent choice. <laughs> That's cool. I like it. You comment on it. Uh, crafting key. Make various items from the materials you find. I'm crafting from the main menu to make items. You can learn to craft more by finding cookbooks. When you crack pots or other containers to craft certain items, you will not be able to make more of these uh, items than you have containers. Container items will run out of use, but containers themselves will will remain. Good. Looks like he's got a fishing pole or something. Uh, spend runes and smithing stones to strengthen your armors. Strengthen your armors up to plus three at the smithing table. Maybe blacksmiths can make your armors even stronger beyond that. Yeah, so oh, I can only get so high with by myself. Gotcha. Let me go ahead and... Uh, put my torch on <laughs> Mario like it Mario like the community is forming around this Uh, fast travel to sites of grace. You can instantly travel to any sites of grace you discover. However, there are some dungeons and areas where it cannot be done. Dog. It's a weird looking dog. Let's have a look at the, uh, thing I bought. Oh, iron crafting. Uh, materials that you find. You can learn more iron crafts by... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, a fire pot. Roped fire pot. Oh, sorry. Throw it behind you. Uh, rainbow stones serve as guiding points on horseback feed to torrent to restore hp oh okay cool so i guess that's the horse i get 
Re reveals co-op and hostile summoning signs. The Erdly Flower. Uh, where's my thing? There it is. Uh, a flask of wondrous physics still remains in the third church of America, north of Mistwood. Cross the highway bridge and follow the animal trail north. Ooh, okay. Cross the highway bridge and follow the animal trail north. Oh yeah, here's all my tutorial stuff. Cool. Third Church of America. Okay, all right. To so keep an eye out for that. Um, let me see if I when I use my use these. How many do I get? That's good. Wait, weren't you? Well, you're back. There are others of my people who yet survive in these lands. If the mood takes you and you meet one, then offer them some trade, won't you, my people? Wanderers all have long been spurned by the grace of gold, which is why we cannot settle. The so grace of gold. Of into this pitiful, That's referring to like journey, Godric and to that, them, things I believe. Things so different for us now, though the Elden Ring is shattered. I think this makes us kindred spirits of sorts. Your people, the tarnished, and mine. Yeah, so seemingly like the, the, the shattering of the Elden Ring also has made, has basically brought like this weird uh, undying nature to the environment, which is kind of like what happened with a lot of the other Dark Souls with like the, with the flame, right? Like the, like the uh, never ending flame of the, uh, from the kill of the first flame. Perhaps you don't need to hear this, but see that no harm comes to my kin. We have a saying, we wanderers, lament not your solitude. Expect no sympathy, no regard, nothing. But if anyone dares harm us, show them no mercy. That is our code, so to speak. Cool. Just the way we are, deeply unforgiving. Oh shit, he's like, don't fuck with us, dude. Don't worry, dude. You're my friend. I don't want to, I don't want to hurt you. Uh, well, we got to get the telescope. Big point ruins. Got some chain mail. to do I like this guy he's nice and don't wish to hurt you um invigorated cured meat temporarily boosts robustness the fuck does that mean higher robustness helps to mitigate the buildup of frost and blood loss oh okay there you go uh lasts longer than traditional cured meat but with reduced effectiveness Found by hunting creature creatures bl bloodless creatures, hunting creatures bloodless creatures. This is like a typo. Bone darts throw at enemies to inflict damage. Bone arrows. Oh, that's nice. Bone bolt. Oh, for crossbows. Okay, and. Bone arrows fletched. Okay, these are probably a bit better then. But yeah, some burbs. Okay, what's the other note say? Someone lurks among the waypoint ruins on the roads through Limgrave. Uh, okay. That's pretty vague. All right. Cool. <laughs> Kills anyone who hurts them. Got it. Uh, I think I'll link to the 100 bits, bud. Have some humble biddies to find my taste in games. And you are a joy to watch. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. Thank you, man. Flare Wing for the uh, 32 months. Thank you, dude. Time for shield. Okay. 
Like I said, I still want to probably uh, just kind of follow the path here because I can't really... Uh, I need to get my horse and I need to get the ability to level up. Hey, there's the herd leaf flower. Oh, we can still grab some stuff along the way. You come again. Hello. Goodbye. Uh, ooh, kukri. And some bolts. I like it. it gives me the big menu for the first time I get something, but after that, uh, it then just turns into like smaller stuff. If, I, if it's something I've already gotten before, I hear something, something sparkly. What is that sound? Whoa! Oh, it's you! <laughs> no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Ah! Teardrop scarabs. These are the, guy, the little dudes that give you the materials. They're both crimson and cerulean teardrop scarabs. Uh, defeat them to replenish the flasks that match their type. However, you cannot replenish more flasks than your maximum amount allows. Oh, okay. Is that all that was? Well, I probably should have taken a drinky then before I stab you. Good to know. Cold pig alert. It's getting dark. Hey, hang on, skeleton. Hey, hang on, skull head. What up, Bert? Sorry. I need your feathers, though. Take that, bald eagles. Tarnish gold sunflower. Oh. I killed a bird. I need their feathers. Gold tinged ex excrement. Oh, was that the th from the thing I killed? I think it was. A little ball. Yeah, look at those things go. Big old bats. Alright, I remember this area from the beta as well. We got a bunch of shitheads around here. I'm not gonna wait to see if they're friendly. Hey, what's up? Aw, oh, you fuckos. Uh, vanquishing enemy groups. Ah, yes, is the other thing. Number, uh, will replenish your flask. The number and in, in type of flask will replenish will vary, depending on the enemy group. Can I replenish? Yeah, okay. Which is pretty great. That's how, that's how they allow you to, you know, you can roam the, the world, go around killing dudes without necessarily having to stop and replenish all the time. It's a really super smart gameplay, uh, design choice. Gatefront Ruins. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. What? What mushroom? Oh God. It's making me trip dicks, dude. 
I'm going on an adventure on a tr uh oh made too much noise just gonna snag that <gasps> no 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 don't call your friends oh you called your friends all oh, this oh way outnumbered just gonna grab this oh a map dope goes over there oh my god it's a bad place to be bro okay i believe this is the spot that we definitely want to pop a squad <sighs> i am a confessor i'm gonna try to make a faith build if i can Well, hello there, ma'am. Greetings, traveler from beyond the fog. I am Melina. I offer you an accord. Hello there, ma'am. Wafu alert alert. Have you heard of the finger maidens? Have you heard of the high elves? They serve the two fingers, offering guidance and aid to the tarnished. But you, I am afraid, are maidenless. I can play the role of Maiden. Turning runes into strength. To aid you in your search for the Elden Ring. You need only take me with you. To the foot of the Erd Tree. I accept. Get settled. Summon me by grace. To turn runes into strength. Ah, another matter. I bequeath to you this ring. The Elden Ring. <sighs> no, nope, never mind. It's my horse. Use it to traverse great distances. It will summon a spectral steed named Torrent. Torrent has chosen you. I wonder if I can customize my horse. Treat him with respect. Don't try to Skyrim him, man. Shall I turn your runes to strength? Let my hand rest upon you. For but a moment. Share them with me. <gasps> your thoughts. Touch me! Your ambitions. Ah. The principles you would follow. Uh, each attribute increase your level. Your level rises by one. Is your level rises so the amount of runes prior? Yes. I have played a Souls game. Let's go ahead and just increase this real quick. Uh, oh, I can't. I don't even have. I don't even enough for, enough to do it once. Never mind. Um. So something that Vadi Vidya brought up too is that so normally the the maidens are part of the two fingers, right? Uh, or part. Or, yeah, part of like the the two finger clan or whatever. Uh, however, she's got this weird mark on her eye that seemingly suggests uh, three fingers. And apparently, there are spells of these this three finger uh, group as well. Uh, not sure exactly what it means, but something to get to, to keep in mind. Maybe she's not exactly the same as other maidens that uh, have helped warriors like myself. 
We level up through the Wafu. Use the Spectral Steed Whistle to summon and ride your Spectral Steed. If your Spectral Steed dies, you can summon again, but it will cost one flask of Crimson Tears to do so. You can dismount by using the Whistle or by pressing L3. Uh, Dragon, thanks for the 21 months of Tier 2, dude. Or 22 months, sorry. Is Nikos trying to Skyrim horse his way through the game yet, you guys? Uh, we're, we're about to. I'm going to skip an entire section of this game. Uh, from the pouch in the main menu, you can equip to six items to your pouches. Four of these can be used without uh, opening the main menu. Oh, yeah, that's right. This helps us so you don't have to constantly cycle through things, which is smart. So we're going to do... Uh, Horse. Double jump. Check out my horse go. Uh oh, there we go. Switch. I'm on a horsey. And I can grab fire materials on the horsey. Looks like a cow. No way, cow. You insult my horse, my goat horse. Now, how about thee, sir? My horse. Ah. You bitches. You kill horsey. If that, you must pay. Hey, yeah, I missed. Huzzah! Ow. I did not get the backstab there. Give me your booty. Use it. 18 dexterity. Okay. Whoosh. Whoosh. Cool. All right. See a telescope there. So if we want to go where I need to go, I believe it's like right through this gate. You got to go all the way up here and follow straight to the castle. And I believe that's where that one boss that I fought before was, but, but now I'm not limited by time. I can actually check out the world around me. So let's go, uh, let's go here. Actually, I might want to heal. And also, let's go ahead and level this up so I can use the uh, dragon thingy. Actually, let's switch it to daytime. It's too dark. Oh, it's raining. I see a dude. Uh, Lord Van Zix is getting all wet. I don't like getting wet. It's like a telescope right here. Oh. 
bird's eye telescope. Use bird eye telescope found in various areas to get a bird's eye view of the terrain in that direction the telescope is facing. Ooh, cool. <laughs> I'm really high. Big tree. Or, or some Mickey D's. Nice. Or if I can uh, form a marker or anything. Doesn't look like it. So we got a... I think that might be the church they mentioned. Maybe. Let's try going here. Actually, pretty damn visible from where I'm standing. What, Van Zeeks? No, I get all wet. You'll be able to see through my rock hard chiseled abs. The sexy bod. Can't have that. Can't get having the have the penguins get all thirsty and shit. Wary of oh god, I remember, yeah, the crabs. Little crab people. Whoa. Ah, also you! Ah! Behold! The flying dragon of Agnew! Now let us do battle! Mm. Behold! Ah! Oh, oh. Ah. You are strong, dragon, but I am stronger. After you are. <laughs> nope, I'm out of here. Bye. Ah! Run, horsey, run! Bye, dragon. Bye. You're still aggroing me, are you? I'm gonna let you just exist, okay? Because Van Zeeks is nice like that. I was definitely never able, able. Oh wait, this is where I started. This is where I began. Ah. Uh, never mind. Uh. Okay. I didn't realize the building I came out from. Yeah, you dumb bats. Yeah. 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 I'm on a horse. Know your place. Know your place. Foolish Nipponese bat. Smithing stone. Try rushing in? I don't think so. I really don't. Yes, be wary of hole. I don't think that's going to lead to anything good. No, I did. The, the dungeon is marked. It's just, it was hard to tell because I can't, like... Oh, hey, there's a little, uh... Whoa. I see a little jumping spot. Oh, that's to get up on that cliff. If I, if, clearly, I can go down here, though. So getting down there might be uh, a little awkward, a little difficult. Get out of here, you. Yeah. Yeah. Away. 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 Dude, get the fucking, fucking shit. 
piece of fucking dude bro there we go oh hey uh i don't think if i remember right you can just like jump down and then like double jump and like survive like that doesn't really work in this game the game will just be like no you just die <laughs> uh hold on beast all over the shop cat no nope see that's what i mean you double jump at the end thing oh i can cert nope nope it does the game doesn't give a shit game's like fuck you Still hurt a lot. Oh, hello, dog. Sorry. Ow. Ow. Sorry, doggo. Uh, so, oh God. Basically, I don't think I can make that jump. Oh, wait, wait, I can make that though. Yeah, there we go. I've reached the bottom. It's Gollum. He's got a big sword. Oh, okay. Damn, you beefy. Brings you in. Oh, yeah, that cells actually bring you closer to him. I do kind of miss, miss having magic. Like I did in the beta. So knife, you can use Ashes of War to grant your armaments new skills at Sites of Grace. An armor can only have one skill. Any skill it previously had will be removed. An armor uh, type determines what skills it can have. Some special armors have unique skills and cannot be granted new ones. Adding affinities. With a Western knife, you can use Ashes of War to grant affinities to your armaments. This will alter your at armaments attack affinity. Uh, armaments determines what affinities you can have. Uh, arm armaments types of special armaments like this with unique skills. Okay. 
Ashes of War, Gravitas. Cool. Take that. Sweet taste of revenge. So what we got going on down here? See some little tiny crabs. This looks walkable. Hi, crab. <gasps> Big crab, mama crab, man. Ah! Mama crab, ang crab angry. Crab, you dare mess with my babies. Just gonna back up there. Anything over here? For futility ahead. Doesn't look like it. All right, up we go. Uh, spirit spring jumping. Uh, jump on horseback near a spirit spring to ride current high. Won't take damage from uh, jumping into a spirit spring on horseback and for great height. All right. Away! Holy shit! YOLO! Big jump. Oh God. Holy shit. It's gonna grab whatever. Yeah. Okay, nothing over on that side. I'm just gonna let you guys do your thing. We got some more assholes. Sights of grace around here. Get some more burbs. <laughs> that looks like something. I can make that. Weeping Peninsula. Peninsula. Hello. <gasps> okay. Sorry. Go back to sleep. Whoa, we got a big fucker over there. Hey, what's up, J Love? Okay. Demi human forest ruins. Uh, 
Oh. Ow. Let's not die. I'm doing good. This game's fun. It's it's scary though, man. A lot of dangers out here. A lot of deadly, deadly fuckos that want me dead. Deadly dead. I'm actually coming close to one of these trees. Well, that's interesting. Guide and gatekeeper for those. Returning to the roots. What? What did that do? Oh! I see it lit a beacon. And I see it's drawing a light to somewhere. Follow the light. I see a place. Uh, it's Richie Rich. Thanks for the uh, 17 months, man. Look carefully ahead. I miss John Plow. Hey, all right. Tombs word catacombs. Definitely never came across this in the beta. I didn't really go that too far out from the main path. Get a little bit more health here. The hell? Oh! Another one of you guys. I don't have any though. Hi, skeleton. No, you can't pass either. Ah. Ah, shit. He's got an iron. I can't get it. Oh, wait. He's coming back. Never mind. Welcome to the Carol Dungeon. Try dashing through. Death ahead. Locked by some contraption. I wonder if I can... Ah, uh, no, I can't. I thought maybe I could light candles or torches or something, but it doesn't seem to be. So, like... No? Ah, oh, shit. Oh no, he's just gonna come back. Yeah. The glowing means they just come back. That's all it means. Is someone summoning them? I think it might be the case. Hence the running through. Ah! Uh-oh. 
grab that. Ow! Okay. No point in fighting these guys. These guys will not die. So you just gotta go. Oh, wait. Can I? Oh! I have to do that. I see. Much time. Ah! This world does not heal me much. Okay, there's that way. <laughs> Keep killing him. He'll eventually stay dead, maybe. Dude, getting out of here is going to be tough. Go. Dude, man, that is, that is tight timing. That is some tight fucking timing. There's a guy right up there. I don't know exactly what it is. Oh, wait. Oh, hey. Ow. I figured it out. Puzzle solved. I was like, there's no way that's it. Fucking knew it, dude. Just had to whack the pillar. friend It's a shithead. Cemetery Shade. Oh dear. Maybe he's the one responsible for all these fucking things. Oh god. Uh oh, I'm bleeding. And now I'm. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. That'd be a bad way to go, dude. Oh, that shit's fucking fast. I think I might be dead. Ew. Oh, wait, I'm a lot. Whoa. Hey, look at my one HP. Ow. Ow. Where is it? 
Yeah, this thing. Grants affinities and skill to an armament. Usable on melee weapons, small armaments, and whips accepted. How do I do it? Yeah, this guy's definitely more doable. I didn't have a whole lot of health. Uh, I thought I said I had to do it at Sights of Grace. I don't see like an option here. Oh, with a wet knife. So I can't actually do anything with it yet. Have to wait till I find the knife. All right. I think I can get this guy, hopefully. Damn. Whoa. I will say I am definitely missing my spells, dude. Having spells is pretty nice. Not having any uh, offensive spells at the, off the bat here is, is pretty rough. Oh, wow. Okay. The fucking reach on that shit, dude. Okay. Very big tracking. Summoning spirits. With a spirit calling bell, you can use ashes to summon various spirits. Summoning typically consumes FP. You can only summon one type of spirit at a time. All right. Luto the Headless. Cool. I don't think I have a summoning bell, though. resin. I think it's part of the tree or something. Cool. All right. Good. I still don't know if I can actually summon these guys. Uh. Maybe I can? Nope. Again, it's like I need the I need the bell or whatever, which and like the other wetness so knife. I'm not exactly sure where I get those. I'll have to figure that out. Um alright. Before I continue, let me uh Let me head back to the merchant guy. This way tarnished. May I have a word? What the well, hello there. A pleasure to meet thee, Tarnished. Hey, I remember you I from the trailer. I'd heard tell of a Tarnished hurtling about atop a spectral steed. Yes, yeah, me. And upon looking into the matter, the talk, I surmise, is of thee. Thou art possessed of the power, no? Yes. To call forth a spectral steed named Torrent. I can call spectral I cannot do it. Yes. Ah, as I had hoped. I was entrusted this for the big hat by Torrent's former master. <gasps> there it is. Thank you. That's exactly what I needed. And I got the wolf one. The wolves. I remember the wolves. The wolves are good. It is a bell for calling forth spirits. Summon them with it. From ash and return to the earth tree, the spirits will obey thine command but briefly. As they recall battles past. Now it is thine to do with as thou wishest. 
Thank you, ma'am. Forgive mine intrusion, tarnished. I doubt we shall again meet. But all the same, learn well the lands between. How long will it be, I wonder, before the tarnished tire of obeisance to the two fingers? Bye. She sounded kind of like the doll, didn't she? What's up, bro? Wait. Well, well you're back. Let's go and grab this. And all of these. So what is the lore behind this? Though plain in its appearance, it offer, offers dependable protection. Now that's it. No dank lore. Better than being naked. See you, Jean. Have a good one, man. Thanks again for the hundred gift subs earlier. Are you crazy mad lad? She was cute. Goodbye. I will say the wolves were pretty good. Um, do I gotta equip the bell or something? Oh, the FP cost exceeds what I can, I can summon it with. I see. 104 FP. How much do I have? 77. Damn it. Too beefy. I can summon the doggos, though, which is good. <laughs> Bye, Santa. I'm going to start strengthening this shit. Okay. Oh, talk to Melina. Hey! This tiny golden aura is the grace of the earth tree. This light once shone in the eyes of your tarnished. You never see a wet knife. But now, it is all that guides you. Also, I hear. You can see them, can't you? The rays of grace that guide you through your burden. Upon the cliff in Castle Stormvale is a shard bearer, a demigod, who inherited a fragment of the shattered Elden Ring. If the rays of grace signal the castle, Glowing. the Elden Ring beckons you. Oh. As an ally by pack, I pray that you are fit to face the challenge presented by the ring. So, is that leaves from the tree? They're falling down. I think they're making me buff. Upon the cliff, a demigod. Oh. If the raid and the elder has an ally, I pray that to face the. Thank you. Shall I turn your roulette my hand? Share them with me. Your thoughts, your ambitions. The principles you would follow. Where's my intelligence bit? Thanks, Melina. Stuff has fallen down. It's giving me some kind of buff, I think. I uh, can't tell what it is, but. How do I rate the Soul game so far? I mean, Bloodborne's my favorite. And probably Dark Souls 3, and then Dark Souls 1, and then Dark Souls 2. 
Uh, Demon Souls would probably be... Probably b above Dark Souls 2, but below is Dark Souls 1. <laughs> seek, Lord, Lord, seek. Or l l seek less, Lord, seek, or whatever. Or seek less, seek something. Uh, all right, let me go back to where I was. Maybe I'll consider looking around here, too, because there might be some shit around here, because it seems like they're trying to give you an indication of uh, stuff off the beaten road. What was it the note said? Someone lurks among the waypoint ruins on the roads through Limgrave. North of Mistwood. Where's Mistwood? Is this Mistwood? In the Waypoint Ruins. I don't think I've come across it. I think it'll probably have a name on it like that. That says waypoint. Let's go over here. Waypoint ruins was where you found the map and then ran from the, oh. No, that's gatefront ruins. That's not waypoint. I don't think I've come across the waypoint ruins yet. How about the... ahead oh not wrong they were just chilling okay another one of these little ruins stormfoot catacombs Inside the earth tree. Inside the earth tree. Long ago, That's interesting. For the reason that I yet live, burned and bodiless, there is something for which I must apologize. I've acted the finger maiden, yet can offer no guidance. I am no maiden. My purpose was long ago lost. Vadi, Vadi talked about that. How she like. She's not really a maiden. She's just acting the part of a maiden, which is sort of like interesting. Shall I turn your let my hand share them with me? A proper death means returning to the Erd tree. Have patience until the time comes and the roots call to you. Okay. Thanks, ghost. Be wary of left. Oh, yeah. Well, fuck you, too. I even knew you were there, honey. You still got me. What? Oh, there's a fuck over there. Ow. 
Ow. Yeah, fuck you, dude. Forked hatchet. New weapon, huh? <laughs> I cannot wield. Requires 14 dexterity. Ooh, attack seems pretty shallow on it. More shallow than this. There's a chair here. Okay, we got another door. These are very similar to the, the Carol dungeons of uh, Bloodborne. Hey there. Hey, ya, fella. Hello! Hello! Ah, oh, I didn't I didn't do anything. Oh, I'm learning to talk. That's good. ahead. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's get some shit here. Smoldering butterfly. Ah, uh, so tired of the hidden path. I've already getting tired of these. I've seen them too many times. Up we go. Hey, 
Slaughtering Noble Ashes. All right, good. Cost less than the wolves. So, uh, uh, summon the posse. No, it isn't. Is there a switch up here? It should be. God. Here we go. Can't think you're styling. Okay. That's only a bit easier to navigate than the skeleton one. I got just enough to level up. Perfect. Um, let's go with more health, honestly. More health is always good. Should start off with a lot of stamina. Helps the enemies actually, yes, yeah, so they actually die and they stay dead. Praise the boss. Any tips? Try sorcery. I said I don't have any, so. I have to make do. <gasps> Mr. Kitty! Erg tree burial, what? Oh, that's a dog? Damn, look at you go. I should try some of my little my some of my friends. Summoning Doggo. <laughs> Not doing too much. But they are distracting. more ass I did it now look more like a cat than a dog <laughs> ah up I think those are items. Those are items. Woo! All right, cool. We're doing good. We're getting stuff. 
I think I remember getting this one as well. I think it's just some as a funny little dude. Actually, I should probably see what the... What, is, what does it say about these? The spirits of nobles who, after death, now wander the lands between. Surely they were in search of something once, but whatever it is, it's, been long, it's long been forgotten. Spirit of a nobleman who was once asked to be given a place at Raya Lucaria to learn glintstone sorceries. His talent were... His talents were insufficient to be worthy of donning the stone crown, however, and he's only capable of using the most rudimentary sorcery. So th he talked to Vadia talked about this as well, where he talked about like how the uh, uh, the glintstone sorcerers or something started uh, basically selling their uh, their magic or like their abilities to teach other to, to teach magic to like royals and nobles. Um. And it sort of shows like this guy. All he has is the most basic of basic bitch skills, which is like the ability to shoot like one arrow. And that's all he learned. Uh, spirits of wolves chased from their pack. They later encountered a nameless tarnished who welcomed them as hunting companions. The wolf's spirits overwhelm enemies with their agility, aiding their summoner in combat. Uh, spirit of the headless knight who leads the mausoleum soldiers wields a lance, lance enrobed in death and hurls spectral lances of foes. Lutel sacrificed her life so that in death she could continue to protect a soulless demigod until the revival, earning her the hero's honor of Erdbearer Burial Erdtree Burial. Protect a soulless demigod. Hmm. Wonder which one that's referring to. Yep, I got, uh, got Elden Ring, uh, early. All right, cool. Get lots of stuff now. How much does the... The one dude cost? 11, yeah, he's, like, super pathetic. He's, like, really not great. What up, Bert? Oh, ew, I see a little wiggly thing over there. Whoa, what is that? What the fuck was that? Is that the bird flying away? Flew way down there? Oh, it has a dude over there, too. Yeah, that's some bloodborne shit down there. Oh, yeah, look. What the hell? What is that? It's flying in circles, whatever it is. Beautiful, yes. Hmm. My D, thanks for the prime sub, man. Welcome aboard. Oh, I can't. I can't light you like the other one. I think. I think these guys point towards the the dungeons, basically. They're like, hey, there's a dungeon nearby that I can guide you to. So I got some shit down there. Uh. Oh God. What 
a bird. And those things. Which don't seem friendly. Is this anything? This hard itself is like some of these are... You actually have the ability to walk in them or not. I don't think so. <laughs> Eagle was just five. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I mean, actually, actually do it to get their feathers, by the way. Because the feathers are used for crafting like arrows. There we go. As long as I just don't drop it, so then I feel like an asshole. I don't know if I want to fuck with that guy. Now that guy's a, that guy's vibing. That guy, I, I don't know. I think I'm ready, quite ready for you. Holy shit, a bunch of squirrels. Ugh. Actually, I guess I should say thank you to Bandai Namco for providing me an early copy of this game. So I actually can uh, check this out early, so thank you. I mean, you guys won't have to wait too much longer. You just have to wait till tonight. That is some... Look at that thing. Is that a snake? Like a bundled snake? Looks like my cable's all, all tangled up. Freaky. Oh, I gotta get some new spells, man. It's, it, so it sucks. I can't cast healing while on a horse. Damn, this healing sucks, too. It's super weak. What the fuck? So what the hell is this thing? It's zipping around, man. Look at it go. We gotta follow it. only I had a lover. Maybe you're right here. So. I have no idea, dude. Is it just trying to circle this area like, hey, there's something in the middle here I should be doing? Any hints, notes? Visions of circling around. Yeah, I, I definitely get that. 
Huh. You guys have any ideas? Oh, this time we playing the game while we were away for release. We just, we just got our earlier copy. Pretty much. Bandai, Bandai Namco basically sent us a copy to some streamers. And the embargo uh, lifted at 10 a.m. today, which was about three or four hours ago. You worship it as your new god. Maybe I need, like, man, I need something, huh? Man, I just need something to, to do anything with it. It's cool. That's part of this is you just got to figure out, uh, figure shit out, you know? It's a mystery. Oh, hi there. Ah! Not a penguin. And for that, you must pay. Ah! Oh, I got a, I got a foot. Streamer privileges, I guess. I mean, Grand, you're expected to cover it, you know? But that's good, because I want to play it with you guys. Is that a dude? That's definitely a dude. He's pissed. The dismounter. Oh, hey, I got his uh, his armor. Cool. New drip acquired. Uh, Helmor by Caden Sellswords. These hulking, fearless mercenaries, said to hail from the mountaintops of the wintry north, are adept fighting on horseback. Caden is the name of their home their home settlement. Uh, this one's better against magic. This one's better against physical. Here's my poison bit. Nice. Strip of white flesh. Cool. Hey, what's up, Seal? What's up, man? Lord Van Zeke's got that new drip, boy. Damn, boy. I don't know what this thing ups with this thing, but I guess I can I might as well mark the map. Uh I'm not exactly sure what I'd mark it with. Uh guess this weird creature thing. Okay, um let's head back to where I was. We have some spots over here. I marked out back here because this was like right below a tree. Look at this guy. Look at this guy in his cool pants. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah, and you're right, but new weapon. I didn't even look at it. Thank you. Uh, a curved greatsword. Okay, so going to need some strength and some dexterity for this one. Hold up. Let's see what my moveset at least looks like. Ugh. That's a greatsword, all right. It's got more reach, though. Pretty sick. 
Not gonna lie, it's a pretty sick looking weapon. A difficult to handle weapon that demands much of the wielder's strength and dexterity, but with practice and ability, it serves as a versatile weapon even on horseback. Oh, that's right, because these guys specialize in horseback. Skill spinning slash. Skill favored by dex dexterous warriors. Slashes foes as your body spins. Additional input allows for follow-up attack. Oh, whoops. Can I actually use the skill? Whoa! Additional input. I'm trying, doesn't seem to be working. Woo! Cool. Maybe you can't maybe I can't do it if it's not if I don't have the affinity for uh oh. But I don't have the stats for it. I, th I think you can. I think it's just it's just not as effective, but in close to this tree. Chris tree, they're looking strange. Oh, looking pretty cool to me. Then summon this. Ta da! Back horsey. I don't even think I looked to see what my crafting was, but the new thing I got. Holy pot water pot. Uses FP. Throw at enemies to inflict holy damage. Ooh. That's kind of cool. And the smoldering butterfly. Holy shit, it's charging. Ow. Uh oh. Minor air tree. That is not like a minor dude right there. few dudes out here that I'm just like, I don't know if I want to fuck with you yet. Those big pots. I'm going to rent a pot, bro. We know it exists. We've seen all the, all the advertising for this game. Hey, a friendo. The hell? Is the field on fire? What are you guys doing? Why is the whole field on fire? Ow! Relax, wins it. Stop burning the grass. What the fuck? Holy shit. Look at the size of that thing. Damn. I see you. Whoa. Look at that, it's a Colossus. It's a giant turtle with a big bell. Neat. 
Wow. He's got a literal building on his back. That's got to be rough. The heck, man? Is it killable? Sanctuary stone. What be that? Material? Oh yeah. Found near the remains of fallen ruins, but but rarely. Let's see a rare a rare material. Wow. Cool. Yeah, I should mark you or something. Hold on, let me look around the, the tree some more. Make it your home base. Somebody singing. I hear singing. Anger true boss, there's no way I was gonna beat him yet. Are the bats worshiping their god or something? Shut that damn song up! Uh-oh. I have been poisoned. I have been poisoned. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. Fuck you, lady. Eat this. Eat my holiness. Ash, ah, she's pissed. do anything to get rid of this poison, sadly. I'll take that. I'm just gonna have to tank this shit off, I guess. Uh, yeah. I have no way to heal it. It's not going away for a while. Ooh, some sliver of meat. still travel while I'm poisoned. 
That's good. On the bone meat. Yeah, I definitely need to find somebody to give me some more spells. For sure. Avatar. Okay, never mind. Hey, it's one of you things. Is this motherfucker following me? things just fill up your flask so it's no real point i thought i thought they'd drop like the armor materials like the other, like other things have but okay so there's a singing lady over there Another little glowy ball down there as well. Uh, we got a nice tower in the distance. We're we just like fucking it's just like, poke, poke, poke. Yeah, our horse helps a little bit, I think. Uh, uh. I jumped off the horse. I didn't hit jump. What? Why did I jump off the horse? I have no idea. What button did I hit? So I'm just gonna have to make do. Oh, I died. No, shit. Hold on. Let's make some of this shit.
Yeah, I could summon some dudes. So my wolves are the noble spirits of Ding Dong Doodlies. Five of these guys. Having the horse help definitely helps a bit. Come, noble spirits. Let us do battle. Get him, guys! Ah! You guys got him. You got it. Uh oh. my horsey. Well, that's not heal you very much, does it, sir? What the fuck? Okay, that hit behind him for some reason. Ow. Oh, look at those things. Okay, those guys, there were a lot of them, but... Where are my wolves? Hi, doggies. Oh, I see. The left stick jump makes you leap off. I got you. Definitely got that same same vibe. Infamous thanks for the 13 months, dude. I want this game rubbed all over my body right now, but last I have to wait till mid tonight. So I see you enjoy it though. It makes make the way all much more painful, so thank you. <laughs> hey, come on, alright? It's not that much longer. Get him, man! Huzzah! He did nine damage, by the way. This thing might actually be resistant to magic. That or that guy's magic is just that bad. It does seem like my horse is not healing every time I'm dying. His HP is staying the same. Now, 
Okay, done. Out of a loop there. Alright, he's about to summon those light beams. Oh, okay. Ow. Okay, he's doing another one. Thing. Enemy failed. Opaline bubble tier. Uh, crimson burst crystal tier. Neat. What is that? Ricky Vo, thanks for the 500 bits, man. Never played Souls game in my life, so this will be my first. So I have to go to work now. Enjoy. Thank you, man. Is a key item? Uh, steadily restore HP for a time in mixed physic. Significantly negates damage in mixed physic. Uh, I think it's something I haven't unlocked yet. Ooh, cool. Slap the booty. That was the, this was the horse. Horse was the true MVP of this fight. Good horsey. Think about it, you could have gone to this thing during the fight if you need to refill your flask. All right, cool. Um, I wonder where the the map for this this area is. Let's see if maybe I can't find it. Oh boy, oh, I see a big old bridge. Oh, yeah. Call for very good. Very good. Okay. I don't know if I can make that jump. <gasps> okay. Start from over there. Yeah. It's also a forest down below. Mapstone things don't seem like where you get them don't seem immediately obvious. Uh, we got some stuff down there. The errors have a map for where's the where's the fun in that? I'm gonna cover more of the area. Whoa, look at that. 
some weird flower things down there. Don't want to fall down there, if possible. That thing's alive. Hey, Bloodworm Werewolf thing. What you doing here? Say hello to my horse. Thanks for my, the rainbow. Taste the rainbow, motherfucker. Oh, that looks like something. That looks like a something. What the heck? Uh-oh. Watch out for that shit. What the hell is that? I hear somebody loading a cannon or something. Better not be. Force lookout tower. These weapons are useless to me. They just break when I roll into them. Hi there, sir. Watch out, man. Oh, Lord, it's Black Town. Oh, Lord. So for some of, half the experience of, of any of these uh, from software games is just rolling through barrels, watching the physics get all crazy. Never gets old. There you are, you motherfucker. Uh, uh, uh. Attacking. Something incredible. Oh, hell yeah. Perfect. I have a range thing now. Hot dog. Actually, that's right. I put it on here. Oh, no. I can't wield it. I need... What the hell? I need 30 strength and 14 dexterity? How big is this thing? Really big. Damn. That's a big bow. That's a big thing. Okay, never mind. I'm not really using this, but it looks cool. It's huge. It's fucking huge. You know what I should do? Actually, might help a little bit if I put my flask. On here. I think that'll help, hopefully. So I have to constantly cycle to get to it. You have to, you definitely have to two hand it. That, that you definitely have to do. Don't mind me. Oh, and grab the smoldering butterflies. That's cool.
All right, well, we got Ballista Man. By the music. Okay, I guess that was a little too far. Just a little too far. I think actually, oh uh, yeah, I think, did I come over here? Hey, Waypoint Ruins. This is, this is the place the thing noted. Someone near Ru Waypoint Ruins. All right, we'll come back here. Let me grab my shit. Hi, dog. My bed wouldn't let me. It's fine. I get it. No, no. These were little snake things. Oh crap, I gotta go down below me. Oh fuck. Ah! Oh, what the fuck? Oh. What the hell was that? He's falling. Some skull flying around. Ah, shit. I gotta go through like a checkpoint. Ah, crap. Bridge of Sacrifice. Uh, uh, uh. Hey! Nice. Where's my shit? Lost Grace. No, you're definitely not evil. Hello? Is somebody there? Might I bend your ear for a moment, please? Might I bend my your ear? Serena. I've escaped from Castle Morn. To the south. The servants there have rebelled. I... I can't be sure what it is. My eyesight's been weak since birth, you see. But I swear I heard frightful howling from all over. Frightful howling. Secreted me out the castle, but decided himself to stay. He says it's his duty. As commander. I... I fear for father's life. The servants are full of wrath. Filled with hatred for every one of us. They've since come for every one of the companions I escaped with. They haven't spared a soul. I fear it's no different at Castle Morn. Please, I implore you. Would you mind taking a letter to my father? At the castle. And my soul wishes that he escape. Even if his honor should be the price. Please. I just want him to be safe. Yes. Thank you. Dearly. Then please. Take this. Rena's letter. Deliver it to my father, who remains in the castle, if you please. Please. If you wouldn't mind, he can be stubborn. Please, he can be stubborn. Okay. Be sure to mark this spot with a uh, person.
So the castle's down this way, I guess. Cool, we have we have acquired a quest. How the fuck do I get up to where my damn shit is though? There's a lot of assholes around. Okay, I'm gonna need you to get off. Uh-oh. Holy shit. Hey, Morningstar. Nice. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Damn, these guys got fucked up. These guys are on a rough day. Hey, buggy. Oh, Ash of War Mighty Shot. Oh, that's right. Some of these guys dropped Ashes of War. Which I still have no fucking way to do anything with. Okay, now we're going to go back this way and get my damn... My god dang salt. There it is. Okay. It's true, we could check out Waypoint Ruins. Or... Well, hold on. Let me go... I'm sure it's going to be like a... A glyph thingy here. That uses a checkpoint. And then we can go check out. Because there's probably somebody I can buy spells from. And I do want to get some additional shit. Hey, there we go. Right there. Is that a Santa? It is a Santa. Well, hiya, fella. Um, demi human mobs. Sure. <gasps> hey, it's nowhere key as well. Yes, a light crossbow. Thank you. Can I wield this? E yes, I can. Good. Some kind of range. Is this all I need? Some kind. Uh,. Can offer the damage negation of a metal shield. It is its emblem is an ancient thorn design, though it isn't much. It boosts fire negation. Apparently, the light first size of the shield is easy to handle, but lacks a true metal uh, a shield's ability to negate damage. Bastard sword! This hefty blade can be swung into multiple foes at once, thanks to its broad sweeping attack and making fending off crowds all all the easier. Definitely, are not going to have yeah the strength required to wield that shit. Oh, this guy's got the, uh, uh, Crimson Amber Medallion. I think I can sell these basically for the amount of souls they're actually worth. I think. Just to test, though. Two thousand? Yep. Okay, good.
Be well. Thank you. the medallion. Give me a little bit of boost. <laughs> Roadhouse. Yeah, you see, it's actually guiding me down here, too. The light is. Um, Wayward Waypoint Ruins. So what do the notes say? Oh, I should read the other thing, too. Slay the demi-human mob's leader first, and the rest will lose hope and panic. Okay. Good to know. Uh, someone lurks among the waypoint ruins and the roads to look. Okay. All right. Let's go head back there, then. Kicking, kicking, more kicking. Come on, horsey. Whee! Very cool, man. This is a very, this is a pretty ass world, I gotta say. Very fun to explore. Uh, equip bows to fire arrows. Equip it to two types of arrows. Choose from, uh... I want it for precision aiming. Yes, thank you. I wonder if I can do that on the horse. Oh, that's sick. Yes, I can. Holy shit, that's, that's dope. Cool. A lot. Of Damn, that is so many guys. Or if I just bum rush in there and grab it. Right, it. I mean, whatever the hell's in there. What the hell? I'm fat. Why'd I turn so fat? Oh, that made me fat. Oh, fuck. I'm fat rolling now. Piece of shit. Oh, this just just barely knocks me to heavy load. Motherfucker. Ah. I guess I'll take the I'll take that off. Chunky boy. Someone's over here, huh? I see a giant weird flower thing. That I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna fuck with. Because he can do that and I don't have any way to cure it.
What in the whoa? <gasps> oh, shit. I see a thing. Be wary of laggardly sword, but visions of master. Shit. Is there like a... No Healy place? Ow! That's not what I wanted. But that works, I guess. Problem is the insane amount of poison. Get him, doggos. Distract him while I fucking run. Uh-oh. Glowstone. Holy shit. Be wary of monster, but sorcerer head. Uh, I think he's saying I gotta go through some shit to get to some shit. This guy's fucking pointless. Oh, yeah. Second thought, I'm thinking I actually shouldn't do that. I'll probably put my healing on at one button instead of because of where it is now, I have to put on two buttons basically. Stuck in the corner! Nice guys. Hell yeah! High fives all around. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Woo, woo. All right. My dudes. Teamwork. Teamwork makes the dream work, baby. God damn right, boy. All right, cool. That worked well. And 
in a person. Hello. Hello. Tarnished, are we? No wonder you should turn up here. I am Selen, a sorcerer, quite plainly. Why are you here? Nice head. I want to learn sorcery. Ah, a yen for glinstone sorceries. I dare say your proclivities are far from ideal. Oh well, perhaps nurture will defy nature. With a bit of luck. But one Excuse me. One's masters wisely. I was exiled from the Academy of Rea Lucaria. As a reviled, apostate witch. Do you still wish to learn from me? Yes. <laughs> well, you are a piece of work. Very well. You are now my protege in Glimstone sorcery. But I refuse to coddle or cast kind words. Never. Never. Anticipate grievances, young apprentice. Ah, heck yes. Finally. Stuff. Oh, man, he lost his souls to this shit, though. Enhance his left uh, shield to damage, damage negation. Crystal Barrage. Scholar's Armor Man. Chance right hand weapon with magic damage. Nice. Do you have a thing for me to actually wield it, though? Oh, you don't? Damn it. I actually... I won't be able to do anything with it because I don't actually have a... a thing to channel it with. Not in thought. Young apprentice, you are a tadpole when it comes to magic. Infantile. Without the legs... You're not going to bare feet around with all the shit around? To become a sorcerer first... You must face your ignorance. Now, shall we start learning? Yes. You wish to continue very well. I'm gonna break your, I hope you don't mind if I break your shit though. Yeah, but. Ah, oh, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm so clumsy. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh my God. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. I'm sorry. I'm so clumsy. I'm sure she's so thrilled to have me as a student. So I don't think I can use what I have right here. I mean, maybe I can. Let me see. Nope. No, this is for uh, faith stuff. So sadly, until I get actual way to, uh, to actually use it, I'm not gonna be able to. I'm not actually gonna be able to do anything. Get with the feet, dude. You see, this spore is covered in like all of these gems. It's like walking around with. It's like walking around with Lego pieces. It's like ow. Uh, okay. So that was the person over here. Still haven't found the map of this area. <laughs> anti, anti foot. Uh, okay. I think I'm going to actually change this. I think I like this actually being better being here than in that hot bar thing. It's a little too awkward because you can't. It, it, this one I have to I have to basically hold down triangle and so I have to I can't like move at the same time that I'm uh that I'm healing at least it's hard to so I think it's better to keep it here um okay so uh go over here Yeah, space spells, or even, hell, fucking, uh, someone to sell me something that I can use to even use, like, like, regular magic. I can't believe this lady doesn't have that. Holy moly. All right, what we got going on up here? Uh, 
see. What did uh, that that letter that she gave me say? Oh. Can I actually see it? Uh, gorgeous looking handkerchief. Uh, light stained with blood. Words can be made out within. Ender of Castle Morn. Seek three wise beasts. What the? Turtle? Seek three turtles. Yeah, you need you need like an actual like staff to to channel magic. Yeah, that I am sure because I did use magic glass in the beta. The fingers are for placing um uh messages and stuff, multiplayer things. Thank you. He's hanging out in the water. I should I think open this door. Cool. Or this is rise. Not here. No. Yes, thank you. Thank you, message. Yeah. Holy shit, Hytham. I give you the 10 gifts those, dude. Holy crap. Penguins, you better watch out. Better watch the fuck out. Hytham's here. He's fucking pissed. Or hate them. Hello? Memory stone. What be that? Oh, increases memory slots. What do you know? Cool. So with that, I can already equip another spell. Great. Well, look. Time for rolling. That's all it's, all it's here. I am the Lord that is approaching. 
Yo, what up, dog? Ow, ow. Fucking shoulder checks me. Sorry, dog. What's up, Amy Lou? I just realized I should probably mark the uh, waypoint ruins with. Uh, there's a person here, actually. Okay. Starlight shards. It's like a consumable? Like a th uh, like a thing you toss it, dudes? Used to gradually recover FP. Ah, neat. Remember Vada video talking about this too. This is like some kind of, kind of like astronomical device of some kind. We're studying the stars. Force that horns on his head. Yes, he does. Because he's a special boy. It's like a reindeer or something. Reindeer horse. Jumping. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Does that work? Hey, all right. All right. Yeah, I did it. Great turtle shell. Turtle in a half shell. Turtle power. Warming stone. That actually was the way to get up here. Unbelievable. I, I thought that was bullshit. I was like, there's probably an easier way to do this, but nope. Uh, shield from a great turtle shell. The natural curve helps it contend with both attacks. The turtle is a symbol of tirelessness, and the shield boosts stamina recovery speed. Oh, really? Cool, it's heavy. Uh, barricade shield. Skill made famous by Sir Nightheart. Focus your energy to the shield, temporarily harding it to deflect greater blows. That's neat. So you need 14 strength to wield it. also kind of kind of chunky cool magic horse Interesting. Okay, so this is actually used to wield uh uh faith stuff as well. I'm 
She doesn't weigh anything either. Might as well just have that on instead. I can't scaling's a bit better, I guess. I, but it's got better faith scaling. Just kind of curious to see what it looks like. <laughs> Neat. Big shield. Urgh. Oh shit, I can't call my horse up here. And then, ah! There we go. How do I get back down? Oh, hey. That's how you get back. Granted, I guess I could have just teleported down here. Okay. Guess we'll go to the castle and see if I can't, uh, help the lady out. Look for her dad. The note said that, uh, oh God. And there's another dude. And he's also on a horse. This horse looks bigger. Dun 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 Knight's cavalry? Oh god. Ow. Dun 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 dun. I am not doing much damage to you. I'm hurting your horse, though. Ow. Bastard out. Come here, bitch. horse and knock him off but oh god I, god damn it I keep leaving off my horse by accident dude if i click down on my left stick i, I will actually jump off my horse and i'm like intensely pushing on like control my uh my dude i keep actually like, hitting it i come here online because of this game How can that horse see? He uses his horsey senses. Where'd the guy go? When I walked over here, he walked out this way. Oh, hey, perfect. This is a, this is one. There we go. Ah! Oh, shit. Shit. They got a big ass blister or something. I know where the other guy went. 
Hold on. So how much of the map did I just reveal? The hell? Can I not look? Why can't I open my map? Oh, because I guess it's saying I'm in a fight. I guess I can't look at my map when I'm in a fight. There we go. Whoa! Oh, okay. I got it for this whole area. Perfect. Perfect. It was a very large map I just got. Much land. I don't know where that guy went. He didn't seem like he's over that way either. Maybe he only shows up at certain times of day. Can I try, try Nightfall? Ah, it is. He's a night, he's a night dude. Round two, sir. How about the... do much and I can't see you. He's riding a big dog with long hair. I could be curious if this guy actually gets easier off the horse. I feel like he probably won't. I feel like I'll kill the horse and he's going to get like tough as nuts. Summons a new horse. Guess that makes sense. I can do the same thing, technically. Yeah, I really gotta be aiming for him. Got time my attacks. Shit. Oh, I just took that right in the face. I don't even know what it's doing, but it, it hurts me. Damn it, dude. 
Oh. All right, I think I'm gonna come back to this guy. This guy's just kicking my ass. Man, get a couple shots in, but it's not doing that much damage. I think I better come back to this after, uh... Hey, the great cross bowls need a... Maybe so. You just say a great bolt. Maybe that is the case. Um, all right. I think I'm going to wait till I have a, uh, and at least at the very least some like magic or something I can get him from a distance. Oh boy. You're dealing with giant crossbow. Watch out, goat. Oh, he. Whoa, he pieced. That guy pieced out fast. Oh, wait, no, he teleported. Poison mist. Is that a. That's a magic, isn't it? Got pyromancy, maybe? Usually the, those mists are. Assuming we, have, assuming we have pyromancy. Is that a fucking bear? Fuck you, bear. Hefty bones, hefty, hefty. Fuck you, bear. I see some dudes. I don't think they're nice. Hey, I'm avoiding, po avoiding poison thanks to my horse. Hopefully my horse can't get poisoned. Dude, can I, uh, can I? There we go. Ew! Oh, it's the sludge monster! I can't do dick to it. Here's some of that dank poison bloom, boy. I hear the arrows coming. Holy shit! Oh, it's this motherfucker! Yeah, that's a big boy. Come, boy. I'm coming. I got you, Jitsy. I got you, Jitsies. Eh. Ow. He's like, stop that. Stop it. Ow. Great arrow. These arrows are great. Yeah, that's shit. Dargos. My tootsie, ah, oh, it hurts so bad, oh, I die. Did it, did it, did it, did it, did it. Ooh. 
Ooh, we got some that grave of swords over here. Swords. The Siege of Castle Morn. A lone hero fights for his vengeance, only to fall at the hand of Lord Godfrey. Huh. It's a big-ass castle, man. I could go through the front door, but is there a back door? Obviously characterized, I'm controlling the Lord Van Zeeks. Don't you know? It's the part of the canon storyline. To avenge my brother Clint. And the Van Zeeks, in the Van Zeeks name. I shall slay all those who dare stand in my stupid way. Top my trusty steed. Campsite ahead. A good campsite or a bad one? Eh. That'd be a good one. Belts, dude. Lord Van Zeeks and his epic sandwich. Okay. Be wary of distraction. Uh oh. Going up. Partying out over there. Oh my god, that was a lot of dudes. This might be a good time. I think I'm going to want to avoid those guys. That dude over there, I think it is. Fuck. God. All right, I'm gonna have to make sure to put the elevator back down when I. That is uh, definitely a dude. Is he surrounded by other dudes, or is it just him? Oh, it's one of those mushroom heads.
Can't see me. Got a big head. Okay, full 360. Gotcha. Aim for the head, which is a bad idea on this dude. God. He's got so little health left. Corner here now. I hear somebody. These are the demi humans, I guess. So they destroy their leader or whatever, and they'll, uh. They don't know. <laughs> Why is it always death? Greed. Uh, and they'll. They'll panic or whatever. Guys can fly. And they can aggro from far away. of item. I was going to be like, attack butthole. There's a ladder here, too. Where's that go? Oh, the ramparts. And it looks like an item. Anything else up here? Ah! However, once I land down there, I can't get back up. Let me get this item first. It's 
history or COVID? Damn, dude. Sorry. Sorry to hear that. Yes, I will. I will. I will, uh, use the power of Lord Van Zeeks to smash the COVID for you. Bitch. Bitch. Nope. Ah. Ooh. Hello, bitch. Uh, Vivid Dreamer, thanks for the uh, the continued uh, continued sub. Uh, first off, horse butthole he ahead. What? First off, horse butthole ahead. What? Horse butthole? I cannot call my horse here. But why the horse? Urgh. Why is it always down? Why is it always dead? There's like a little island down there. Oh. I see a, I see a fog gate. That's a, there's a boss down there. Actually, this is like, this could be the fast way of getting there too. I can seemingly hop there. I see an item here. Hey, all right. Got a few of these now. Yeah. Oh, that's not doing much. What are these guys doing? Like trembling in fear? What iron cleaver? Strong foe ahead? Really? Ow. Definitely beefy. Ow. Three hit combo. Okay.
Oh, this tracking horse shit, man. Zombie bear, thanks for the gifts up, man. He's like, I'm just, I'm just gonna lock on to you. I'm just gonna lock on to you. I'm just gonna keep locking on. Huzzah! Oh, hey, I can get inside from here. So a few ways to go. Ow. Hey, how's it going? A pickle turtleneck. Ow! Oh, I didn't even see that thing there. Help me, I'm of noble blood. If those hideous mongrels eat me, I'll be forever marred. You're already dead, dude. Give me that, please. Thank the Chris. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hold on. I really can't do much to you. There's some names I just can't backstab either. Floor sold the 100 bits. Thank you, man. Nice. Yeah, man. This game's great. No, I can't. I gotta wait a second. God. Horseshit tracking, dude. Can I guard counter? Oh, I definitely can, but it's going to leave me fucking open. <laughs> I gotta cut. I'll get a hit off. This thing, this guy has like poised out the wazoo, so attacks do not phase him. No! Shit! Fuck! <laughs> the classic. The classic. <laughs> Walk around and backstab. It didn't really stun him, but I did I managed to at least out damage him. Come here, butterfly. This tower's higher than I realized. Hey, don't eat me. Uh, twin blade talisman. Enhances the final hit of chain attacks. A talisman depicting a twin blade and a confessor. Hey, I'm a confessor. Uh, the twin blade technique is a tradition of the confessors who closely guard the secret of how they preserve the momentum of their attacks. Thus is the final strike of their onslaught all the more deadly. That's interesting. Hmm. That's kind of cool. I 
damage. I'm sure it's going to work for a weapon like this where I can kind of just keep going as long as I have it. Oh, no, there it is. Right there. That move. It takes a long time to get there, though. I don't even... I don't know, know if I usually get get that last hit off. Uh, Pixel, thank you for the 13 months, bud. Welcome back. Okie dokie. Well. Oh, hey. I can hop down to the roof here. I guess that's actually where I kind of have to go. Was there something over here? Yeah. <laughs> Yay, I'm glad they we, we have the hilarious physics back where I can like drag the body with me. Ugh. Those little slime things are basically weak to magic. It's usually what they are, at least in these Dark Soul games. I hear a sparkle. Here. Light ahead. See some shit down there. Oh, yeah. A little rolly ball. Uh, uh, uh. I don't know where that came from, but okay. Give me your shit. Nice. Fully hit. Restore my flask. Jumping required ahead. Uh. Here, yes. I see the here. Oh my, oh God, it's one of these. Ah, shit. Well, at least I got the spell that helps reduce fall damage. We better not fuck up. Oh, we always gotta have one of these too, right? We gotta solve dude fall to his death. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Okay. Be wary of myself dying. Uh, uh. Uh, it's the rat! Oh god, there's so many in here! Bitch. Okay, there was way more rats in here than I realized. Ah, fuck. Fuck you, dude. Oh, a whip. I'll smack the fuck out of you. Whip it good. Dexterity. Though its simple attack can be, not be thwarted by parry or even guarding, it is incapable of dealing critical hits. Skill kick! Not originally used for combat, but an instrument of pain. Woo! Woo oh yeah! Oh yeah! Cool. Not do a ton of damage, but... It's not awful either. 100 damage. Hey, what's up, Leon? What's up, man? Been streaming this for a good, like, six hours. I'm doing good. This game's really fucking fun. Has, uh, has Max, uh, started streaming it yet? 
uh, Leon? Try left. This side. Fire ahead. Oh, he finished 30 minutes ago. Great. I'm guessing he's playing to come back uh, tonight then. I, I guess. Oh, hey, great. Another campsite. Yeah, 52 deaths. I'm not sure. I just got home from work. That's all. Gotcha. Uh, release the poison mist before the, before the caster. Hey, this is actually, I can't actually use this. Yeah. All right. It'll help for something. Do incantation at least. Oh shit. The rats came back. Yeah. Rats. I swear to God, they've been using the same rat like uh, model since Dark Souls 1. <laughs> it's like the same exact one. I Means slightly higher fidelity, but it's just it's the same little, same little asshole. Yeah, a little floaty jellyfish. Yeah. First off, fortitude. First off, don't die. Oh, hey, how's it going? Oh, God, it's you. Oh, I don't, I don't even want to fucking deal with you, dude. these arrows in my head this is normal here item ahead oh shit he didn't lie somber smithing stone oh god he's still here uh madam are they gonna find us those buddy okay so we got you guys I don't imagine you want to be friends. Fuck. Oh god, I've ang angered the jellyfish. Oh, I made all of them angry, yeah. I think they were fine until I did that. Alright, well, let's go ahead and die to whatever the hell's in here real quick. Let me in. Let me in! Leonine misbegotten. Okay, went that one through my guard. Ow. Leonine. Cool. Okay, don't fuck with the jellyfish. <laughs> Looks like the jellyfish are actually... are not actually going to attack you. As long as you don't attack them. Uh, you guarding anything on your side, man? Don't seem to be. Just gonna bypass those two guys over there. Okay, we have some crabs. If I kill you, your mom's not gonna come out and try to kill me, right? Ah! <gasps> No, sorry. Uh, uh oh. Uh oh. You killed your own kid, you dumbass. Well, uh, I guess it's my life now. Oh, 
electric arrows. Ow! 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 Rock lobster! Got little hairs on his legs. So they, I see they actually bury themselves on the ground. Those cheeky motherfuckers. That was true. I do have poison mist. You're right. I don't know what poison would work on the crab. I'd worth trying on this guy over here. Any tips? Try parrying. Try guard counter. Okay. I'm gonna try this shit. Ow. If I can just get the attack off, which I can. There's a long wind up on that attack. <laughs> Bye! And then runs off. Behold. Is behind you. Holy shit. Apparently, I don't give a fuck. These attacks don't stop. Hey, alright, I poisoned him. I think. Yeah. It's kind of slow. I mean, he's poison, but it's pretty fucking slow. Jump over the low sweeps, I guess, but I have to kind of learn his moves first before I can even react to it. not that strong i mean he, he isn't he's just i'm still like pretty early levels here so i don't have that much strength yeah i can do this the thing is when he he, he actually staggers to your uh to your counter hit the main thing here is recognizing which attacks will uh are lighter lighter attacks that i can counter hit and when the combo ends and also which attacks are the really heavy ones that take off all of my stamina and I won't be able to, uh... That fucking attack is fucking weird.
I am seeing a lot of mishmashes of different, like, I feel like designs from enemies of previous so Souls games. It would be Dark Souls or Bloodborne or whatever. What? Oh, that apparently staggers me too. Okay. That's the problem is his attacks do fucking shit ton of uh stagger to my stamina i will say thankfully so far the bosses in this game are more forgiving in terms of the checkpoints near them it's kind of unusual actually this isn't this is definitely not something that was very common in a lot of previous games Usually, there's always a lot of running back to dudes dude i do not understand this move he like jumps behind you like, I'm blocking and he still hits me. problem with this guy is he does so many hits that just stagger me and I can't I can't counter shit fucking work with. Nope. Oh, I got him in the midair. Do that one. Don't even try. That one is immediately good. That one's good. Second one, yep. Yeah, okay, I'm getting it. I'm getting the rhythm. Oh, I did the first one by accident. No. Don't even try. Oh my god, he still hit me with it.
Oh, we did the leaping attack into it. Damn. Sword. Oh my god. I learned what to do. The storied sword of Castle Morn, a revenger's weapon, it is burdened with oceans of anger and regret. One of the legendary armaments. A lone surviving champion from a country now vanished was so determined to continue fighting that he claimed the swords of an entire clan. Uh, unique skill, Oath of Vengeance. Swear an oath upon the great sword to avenge the clan, temporarily erasing all attributes for a certain duration. While the effect, oath's effects are active, poise will also be increased. Wow, cool. So what does it require? Uh, 40 strength! Check this shit out. Ugh. 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 Behold. My power. Oh, wait. Cool. I did it. Need the states to use the skill? Need the what? Or the stat? Oh, the stats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. All right, well, that's uh, finished. I guess that was an optional fight in this area. So I wonder where I actually have to go. There's some way to get it back actually inside this castle. Um, somehow. That's the behind the castle, so I guess we'll see if we can't go to the right side. We're really going for I was I, I'm trying to go for uh, like a faith more of a faith build. Um, unfortunately, I uh, I can't find the faith person yet, or haven't found them. I can't really cast any. Nor can I cast sorcery until I get a little hoodly doodly, little staff. But anyway, all I, all of, all the face stuff I have right now is not very good. I've got a crappy healing thing, and a thing that's supposed to help me with stealth, but it hasn't been really doing an amazing job. Panic, but how the hell am I supposed to kill him without these other guys getting aggro? Ooh, some fire grease. Thanks. I like some good old fashioned fire grease, boy. Fuck. That bitch. Ooh, Claymore. Ah, fuck. Ah, shit, 
that you came all the way over here? Oh, no, his fucking reach is ridiculous. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's right. Fly off of that, motherfucker. Uh, uh, for Kalimnor! I couldn't save this dude who probably would have tried to kill me afterwards anyway, but whatever. <laughs> no! Ah, shit, they're fighting. They like, I like they waited for me to come up here before they started fighting each other. For the horror! I got you, bro. I'm helping. Uh, oh, this leads back over here. Definitely don't need to go back this way again. You guys got it. You're doing good. Yeah, you got it, guys. Woo! Maybe you got it. Maybe you don't. Oh. Oh. I win. I'm the true victor here. Uh, use furl calling finger remedy to reveal summon signs of players from other worlds. Gold Kate ally, red Kate adversary. Oh, it's just the, yeah, the, the base item. wire torch Ooh. beefy torch it actually is torch wow with steel wire the flame can illuminate dark locales or used to attack enemies heavier than normal torch but the heated filament boosts fire damage dealt oh fire breather uh blow into the torch spread Flames in a wide arc, frontward arc. The flames on the ground will continue to burn for a short time. Cool. Lord Vanzi's got a very sharp pokey torch. Okay, I still haven't come across her dad yet. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out where the fuck the game wants me to go. Oh, hey. Oh, I see it. I see where I need to go. It's over there where those guys are hanging. I see it. I see a spot where I have not been. There we go. That hard as fuck to see ladder. There we go. Huzzah. Yeah, <laughs> very sad. You can't get there, though.
my god, get me out of here. Did he just die and ask just some rando? Hey man, what's up? I've got a, a guy here. Don't worry, pal, you're safe now. Uh, there's a face I've not seen before. Same before. I'm Edgar, warden of this guy's hanging out. As ordained by Lord Godric himself. But you can see how things have turned out. The menials have all rebelled. They gave me good service, or so I thought. But it seems it was all an act. Foul creatures, as it said. And true enough, they're foul inside and out. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but whatever you come here to do, I'm afraid Castle Morn won't hold much longer. I don't know, guys. He is. By way of apology. A sacrificial twig? I don't know, man. I guess this is like you're like really losing ground at all. It's just fine. You guys can come back. I see. From Arena. Thank you. I mean, you're dead, but I can't leave yet. Even if the castle should fall, as commander, I must remain to ensure the treasured sword of Morn does not fall into the wrong hands. I'll take the sword. If you see Arena, do tell her that her father will come for her once he's fulfilled his duty. If you see Arena, her father will come. Hmm. Sacrificial twig. What be that? <laughs> ah! Oh, God damn it, dude. Are you fucking kidding me? A little help, bro. These fuckos. Uh, we lost upon death instead of runes, I see. So if I equip it, I, I lose that on death instead. <laughs> I just couldn't have waited? dead what the heck who killed her they left their sword behind oh is that how that story ends i want to go deliver the letter and she's now she's fucking dead all your fault penguins now that's fucked up i wonder may i should go tell the dad now no, he's still alive. I'm in your debt for keeping the sword from those fallen creatures. I'm no longer bound by duty. Once I've rescued Arena, I will spend my remaining days with her. She's already dead, you asshole! To you, I will be reunited with Arena and devote my remaining days to her. Arena has a gentle nature, though. I only hope it remains intact. Thanks to you, and devote my arena as a I only hope. You motherfucker! She's dead, sir! She's fucking dead! No! Damn, she's still Good dead. Now. How oh. could this be? My oh. daughter deserved better. The fault lies with me. I chose duty over my daughter's safety. And that is how fate has answered. I'll find them. The foul wretch is responsible for this. 
I'll hunt them down and exterminate every last one of them. Oh, he said the thing! Be assured, Arena, it will be done. I'll find them. the foul. I'll hunt them, rest assured. Holy shit. Never mind, he he figured it out. I'm guessing he's gone after this. She's still dead. The question is, where the hell did he go? over here? No. Could have been. I know. Buried it, really. So, now the question is, because I think we're going to probably find him. I imagine we're going to find him dead now somewhere, right? More than likely. Didn't even see this one. Monkey, I think it's the ladies, actually. It's actually a big cliff or something. Huh? I have to figure out where to get up it. Oh, and then I come to the bridge here. Ow. It's the planet of the apes. Tunnel. Here's some shit. Well done. Thank you. This takes you. Cannot gravel travel to a site of grace from this location. Oh, interesting. I can't I can't actually uh exit out of here normally. That's kind of cool. 
Um, all right, guys. I think that's probably enough for now. We've been going for a while. Um, this game's super sick, man. I cannot wait to play more of it. I gotta find that dude, man. I gotta figure out what happened to, to her dad. I'm sure he's probably gonna die. <laughs> I'm sure he's probably gonna die, but we need to continue. We gotta continue the uh, adventures of uh, Lord uh, Lord Brock Van Zeeks, all right? We absolutely have to. Um, but thank you guys so, so much for joining me on the uh, the opening release day, or I guess a little early, but uh, uh, the opening day of, uh, of Elden Ring. I cannot wait to play more of this game. We'll definitely be coming back to it. Um, I might actually stream tomorrow, potentially. I'll probably be doing it at a later time than I'm than we did today. Um, maybe a more close closer to my usual time. Um, and then we'll definitely be streaming on Saturday as well. But uh, we'll still be getting you'll still be getting a Lost Judgment video today, as well as a Neo: The World Ends with You for tomorrow. So um, can look forward to that. Go ahead and uh, uh, and I'll see you guys. Uh, uh, in the next stream as well, the next video. And as always, uh, till next time, guys. Stay classy. Night, guys. See you later. Have a good one. I'll see you all soon.